mountain changes not. You are God who is Emmanuel God with us in the mountain top, in the valley low. You remain to be God. You are reliable, you are dependable, and you are trustworthy. Right. You are God that you can call and you can look up to at any given point yes. and every given seasons of our lives. Yes. Because season comes, season go, but you yes. remain to be a young, yes. a young that I am, a yes. young that you can call unto. A God is not seated and look up there wondering what to do with us. Mm -hmm. But you are God who loves us. You are God who cares. And you are so much concerned about us. And so we welcome you. We pray and lift up the family to you, oh God. Mm -hmm. And even in such a time as this, may you be the I am that you are in their lives, oh God. I am that you carry them through this day, oh God. I am that you lift their heads above the pain, above the grief, oh God. I am that who is able to give them the strength and the peace that the world cannot give them. And so we implore you to take full control over this day, over the family, over their lives, for the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This is how we get the blessings of God. Because in the first time that Jesus preached on the mount, he said, 
Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. In essence, God is saying, because you have fulfilled this today, when hard times come your way, God will fight. The last days are. And one of the signs that Jesus gave is evil will prevail in Matthew 24. In the last days, evil will. And men will be lovers of themselves and lovers of money more than lovers of God. Now, for sure, it is a my figure. And I need to remind us today. For those of you who are here and are not born again, and years ago, there were people here in this country. Kenya was not there. A hundred years ago, there were people in this country. They had property, they had wealth, they had land, they had wives, they had children, they had chariots, they had horses, they had cows. But a hundred years later, they are not here, but we are. A hundred years to come, none of us here will be here. All the cars you see today, they won't be there a hundred years. Yet we invest quite a bit of our lives, don't we? In buying those stupid machines. <laughs> True? And both legs, especially in Africa. The way I think is too high. But none of them will be there a hundred years to come. to come. So the question I keep asking is, since a hundred years to come, we won't be here to talk about Whether you believe there is God or not, whether when you date you, Jaoko, Kamo, Meoko, Kai, at this point is Utakuawa, for sure all of us will be dead. So you will either be in heaven, and you determine your eternal destiny today, one has fear. Yeah. Uh, so as you live here today, end of Julisa, hundred years ago, each other were doing in. What are true? Like, but today we have documents that say that this is my land. I don't know if you know the life the, the, the life part span of uh, the shelf life of a Titan did is 99 years. 99? Yes. Now show up the one to Yeah? What to Tanikana? Now I'm going to have a Those are those stupid documents, excuse my friends. Move on, a squeezy. What's our what is your letter? Yes. 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 But they were 
people live for. They want Kenyans, but they were people because this was not Kenya 100 years ago. It was just a place. See, you know, Nairobi was a land of cold, cool waters. Wamasai when you were in when you went to for a different place of cool, Leo, no one was in Nairobi. And now, I'm going to go to Tanzania. Who could have been a one of cool? True, true. So, how many years to come? We'll be shocked. We'll be in my village. There are very many unoccupied homes. Our fathers build homes. And the children who are coming up have no use for those homes. I remember writing to my brother and my sisters in the UK. We said, we have to say, 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 we have my father almost killed people for that and, and his son is saying I can't leave Europe for so long in the third world. May the Lord have mercy on us. And here we come out of my ears. Joy, go ahead and pull my hand. The food is because it's the only one who will be. He was, he is, and he will. And the only cause of what fight is the cause of Jesus Christ. Ask. The children of the freedom fighters. They don't own anything in this country. And the collaborators, they own everything. So which cause is more fighting for? Kenya or Jesus? Jesus. So where did you go? May God have mercy. As far as we go, may that begin in our heads. But if you're not saved today, a hundred years to come, you won't be. Will you be in heaven or in hell? You can only determine that today. May God have mercy. Father, yeah. thank you for your word. I pray that you will convict us and righteousness in our God, because we live once and then judgment. And Lord, I pray that none who is hearing my voice today will never end up in heaven. Father, may you convict us to righteousness, because we don't come to heaven because we are without sin. Because none of us here is without sin. No one is without sin. No one. But we come because we are born again. And Lord, I thank you for each one of us. And thank you for using us to be a blessing to this family. I pray that you will bless each one here. Heal their bodies, bless the works of their hands, because they have fulfilled your mandate to be with them that know you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, bless your people today. And minister to them, even as you encourage Rose's family. And dedicate them to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can reach your neighbor and wish them a piece of
na hiyo kweli tukimaliza mwili tunaenda direct kwa gari tuko nyuma na kama hawa nao tulikuwa tutoke hapa Serendati alafu tutapita njia ya Moranga so tukifika Keno tunaenda left Moranga town tupita Moranga on your right usiende left straight on uende mpaka no cross upite uende to junction ya Sagana you turn right kidogo ndio sasa tuingie njia kwenda Kagio Kutus kwa pamoja huko kwingine tutajipanga wale ambao hamna magari tutawaombea left na ukipewa left ni vizuri ku behave najua ushatamba mtu na uliza huyu mtoka kwa hivyo akiona maili anasema simamisha kidogo
wakati ah mi majina yangu ni Gatuduka Nyaru Kama the late husband of Rose is my first cousin so culturally the lady who is lying here is my wife and it is very we will not say that it is hard but it is very difficult for us as a family family ya ya kiama ya kiama tunawashukuru wote wale wamekuja hapa tumeona tumeona upendo mwingi sana kutoka kwenu kutoka kwenu hata ambao hatuwezi hata ambao hatuwezi we cannot even we cannot even say we have say not seen this kind of love expressed, kind of love expressed to, somebody who, to somebody who has departed we have seen it we have seen it in your contributions in your contributions we have seen it in the prayers seen it in the prayers and we have seen it in the dedication, the dedication at the church yesterday so my role is very simple so is, to is, is to welcome you here however painful it is however, painful however, it is, however gratifying it is gratifying to celebrate the life of rose and to tell you that and to tell you that the way that you have taken that you have rose Kiyama. Kiyama. we as a family appeal to you to continue to continue to extend this to the to children this to the children as we bury rose, bury rose let us not say goodbye to the children goodbye to the children we will be there as a family but we cannot do it alone because the love you have shown the love you have shown and the friendship and the friendship should go to the children should go to if the they children. come to you with something you an with appeal something, kindly appeal. please kindly. listen to please. them please. and i would like to would emphasize like here again and i've told danko and mwangi and, and joyce and that, I'm that i'm there for them and this goes for and all the family all the so family. thank you very much so and welcome for this celebration Rose Wamuyu na Brenda. Sorry, Rose Wamuyu na Mama Bob. Tafadhali naomba mje mtusomee yule ulojia. Barizan mi wote. My name is Rose Gidinji and Rose is my auntie. We are here to give her a befitting send off and I'll read the eulogy in English. Dear friends and family, today we gather to celebrate the life of uh, Rose Wamboi Kiyama, a beloved daughter, sister, wife, mother, and friend. Rose was born on August 17th, 1960, in Gidudi village, Kiharo sub location, Gidi location, Mukuraini sub county, Nyeri county. Uh, she was born to the late Mwari Mushadrak Gishuki Gadondu and Monica Waitito Gishuki. She was the fifth born of eight siblings, including uh, Mary Mudoni Njau, Patrick Gadondu, Esther Gadigia, the late Lydia Wanjira, Anne Waruguru Mwangi, Samuel Maina, and Paris Wanjiko. She was the sister-in-law to Margaret Muringi Wanderi, Geoffrey Kanyaru, Jackson Gitu, the late Charles Nyingi, John Gatudu, the late James Njau, Anne Jerry Gadondu, John Karanja Jiraine, Edward Mwangi Muhia, and Daniel Wambugu Kariuki. Rose's faith was an integral part of her life, having been baptized in 1962 and raised in a devout Catholic family. Rose was a pioneer of the, the local Catholic church choir and later converted to KG Buruburu then Sitamburuburu Church, where she was an active member until her passing. Rose began her formal education in January 1968 at Gidunguri Primary School and sat for her Certificates of Primary Education, CPE, in November 1975. She then joined Mary Hill Girls High School at Thika in 1976. 
and sat for her East, uh, East Africa Certificate of Education, EACE, in 1979, passing with flying colors. In May 1980, she joined Mutumbu Girls High School for high levels, but cut short her studies the same year after being recruited by the Ministry of Lands as a pre-service trainee through Public Service Commission. Rose's career in cartography began when she was sponsored for a diploma course at Kenya Polytechnic, currently Technical University of Kenya, which she completed in 1981. She then secured a position as a cartographer in the survey department at the Ministry of Lands and Settlement, rising through the ranks until the year 2000 when she took an early retirement from civil service. She then ventured into private practice where she became a consultant with Lantec Mappers Limited. In 1981, Rose met the love of her life, Samuel Kiamagishuki, and they formalized their union in, on December 5th, 1992, at the Blessed Sacrament Church in Buruburu, Phase 3. They were blessed with three children, Danko, Anto, and Wanjiro. Late in 2021, Rose started experiencing abdominal pains in January 2022. She was diagnosed with, me with pancreatic cancer. Despite the devastating news, Rose remained strong. And accompanied, her, and accompanied by her sister Mary Mudoni, she traveled to India on April 4, 2022 for treatment. After five years' month of treatment, she returned to Kenya and continued with home-based care. Unfortunately, Rosie's health deteriorated on 20, December 25th, 2022, and she was admitted to MP Shire Hospital on January 7th, 2023, before returning to India for further treatment on February 8th, 2023, accompanied by Mwangi. Her doctors recommended that she continue the treatment back home in Kenya, and upon her return on, uh, to Kenya, on February 20th, 2023, she was immediately admitted to Nairobi Hospital. Despite the efforts of her doctors and the love of her family, Rose peacefully passed away on February 25th, 2023 at 2.50 p.m. Surrounded by her children. She leaves behind three children and grandchildren who will dearly miss her. Rose was a remarkable woman whose kind, gentle, and caring nature touched the lives of everyone who knew her. Her unwavering faith, dedication to her work, and the love, um, and love for her family and friends will forever be remembered. As we bid farewell to Rose today, we draw comfort from the words of the Bible in Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 2. For everything there is a season and time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die. Though we may grieve her loss, we also celebrate her life and many ways in which she touched the world around her. Rose lived her life with kindness, compassion, and a deep commitment to her faith. As we carry her memory with us in days ahead, let us be inspired by example to love one another to serve communities and to live each day to the fullest. May she rest in peace and we may, may we find comfort and knowledge that she has been welcomed home um, into the arms of a loving God. Amen. Rest in peace, Rose Gamma. God is good, and all the time, I was told to eulogize Rose. Rose, we have a great board with her, because when she came to high school, she met me there in Mary Hill, and she was my mono at that time, because I was in Form 4, and she was in Form 1. So we have had a board ever since. Now, let me read the eulogy. Rugano wa Rose wa Boikiama ushiaro Rose wa Boikiama ashiarirwa mweli 17 wa kanana mwaka wa 1963 1963 itora ineri ya githuthi 
Kiharo sub location, Yedi location, Mukoloine sub county, Nyeri county. Ashiari ake, Mare Mutiga ire, Mwalimu Shadrak, Yeshoke Gadondu, na Monica Waitito Yeshoke. Mashiara Neiro na Mary Mudoni Jao, Patrick Gadondu, who is my husband, Esther Gadigia, Mutiga ire Lydia Wajera Karanja, Anu Warugoro Mwangi, Samuel Maina, na Paris Wajiko. Arare Malamue wa Margaret Muringe, Wanderi, Geoffrey Kaniaru, Jackson Yeto, Mutiga ire Charles Nyinge, John Gatudu, Mutiga ire James Jao, Annie Jerry Gadodu, who is me, John Karaja Jeraine, Edward Mwangi Mohea, na Daniel Wabogo Karioki. Kanitha, Ashiari Ake, Mare Aromere Riarumu, a Kanitha wa Catholic, na kwa uguo ni atu waliro Kanitha ine, na kevati vio mwaka wa giriemwe, magana keda, mami rogueta datona igere, parishi ya kaheti. Duda oshio, ni aheiruo riomere ria, kuigere ruo moko, na kehi gore ruo wa mukiri. Unini wake, ni ni aigeri rege kudikia ado anini ni kio geta go youth ya kanitha wake modo Catholic Church o odomwe na kwaya o agishara gia wagereru wawetekia ni adho mire githo mokia ivu kuitheru Bible Standards na keigira kanitha wa Kenya Assemblies of God KAG Bruburu na agishoka keigira Christ is the Answer Ministries Sitam Bruburu githo mo Rosi ya kore ire, akurire ota shia na ire ige, shia hii hidare yake. Na kinya ukoro wako igira shukuru, akia bere liya gedo mo shukuru wage dhoguri, primary school, January, mwaka wagirie mwe maga na keda mami rogwe tada tuna inyanya. O ginya novemba, mwaka wagirie mwe maga na keda mami rogo mwa jana idhano. Lelea aikale ire kegera niyo ya CPE. Ni odo wako hitoka wega, ni atiruo na keigira Mary Hill Girls High School, Vika, mweri wa February, mwaka wa girie mwe maga na keda, mami rogo mwa jana idha adhatu. Mwaka wa girie mwe maga na keda, mami rogo mwa jana keda, ni ya kire kikira niyo ya ESE, aki hitoka wega, na getu wako igira A-Levels, haya, from 4 to Mutomo Girls High School. Mwaka wa girie mwe maga na keda, mami rogo enana. Dare kiriye kitho mokia A-Levels, todo novemba ya mwaka ini wa ushio, niyo irone Public Service Commission, udho mera kosi ya kartografe, luguwa ministre ya megoda. Wera, losi ya bereiri ya wera, kanakari ya yake, dede ya tomiru wogo udho mera diploma ya kartografe, dhine wa Kenya Polytechnic, umothe niyo etago Technical University of Kenya. Mwaka wa girie mwe maga na keda mami rogwe nana. Kinya mwaka wa girie mwe maga na keda mami rogwe nana ne mwe. Ale kia diploma ni adekiruwa wera wa kartografa dhine wa survey of Kenya ruaraka. Ni ahaishire gade wera ine ginya mwaka wa girigere. Lerea oire ritaya kafere na kia bereria wera wake kiobe na kabu ni etago Laditech Mapas Limited. Kehiko. Los ni maashe manirie na makia dana na muedwa wake muti gaire samwe oki ya magishoke Mwaka ine wa girie mwe maga na keda mami rogwe nana ne mwe Na makehika niya ohiki wa keo doire Na dhuda makia rohi ohiki kanitha ine wa Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church Bruburu Mweri wa diseba Mweri dhano mwaka wa girie mwe maga na keda mami rogo keda na igiri Ni mara adhimiruo na shia na idato na nishio Duncan Yesho Kekiyama, Anthony Mwagi Kiyama na Joyce Wajiro Kiyama. Dwali. Rose A. Bereirie kuhatere liyone muere, mbuthia ine wa mwaka wa girigere na mirogo irene mwe, na January ya mwaka oyoge wa 2022, kana mwaka wa girigere na mirogo irene igere, nione kanire na kansa ya ruariyogo. O na kuhana o uguo, na ulea adwa igemanyi itaguo niki mako, rosa aikalire o na umereru, na mweli nyawaka na mwaka wa girigere na mirogo ire na igere, ni adhire idia 
oi magaretio ni mware wa nyina mire muthoni gucharia urigitani thutha wa mieri etano bururi bururi ne wa india ni acokire kenya niguo arigiterwo mucii disemba 25th disemba 25 mwaka wa 2022 ni akomire thibitari wa mp sha ginya mweri uyu wa keri mwaka uyu mweri nyanya riri acokire india mena muruwe antony mwangi ni acokire guku bururi ne kenya mweri mweri wa keri mweri uyu Oyo tulare na guo, mwako oyo, na kia mukiru wa Nairobi Hospital. Kulea alari gitagiru wa ginya mweli, mirogwere na idhano, wakere, mwakaini oyo, lelea etiru wa, ni muadhani, aligishe hirio ni shia na shiake. Ni muadhani, wahea nire rose, na noe wa muoya, haka huruke, letu alea muadhani lelea ugoosho. Rose, aro huruka uhoro. To appreciate Mama Bob. Na 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 jo kumbwa tunesa wa appreciate vizuri. Tafadhali to appreciate wala mbwa matusomea biologia vizuri. Asante sana. Wakati huu nataka kumuita Samuel akuya pa karibu na mimi. Tunataka kufanya hii kazi karibu na e Samuel. God is good. Gai ni mwega. Na hedi shio the. Wera ni ugo diyete na waka ya kediri kandasho keri yoka wera kakwa. Kwa guwa ni mwega kule la kira uni diri ya kemoto. Ya hivyo shio gemwele tutilare la. Neja abatu la umagalia. Asante sana. So tutaita wale ambao wataongea daika mbili mbili. Na tunaanza na in-laws. Rosemary Dirago. Rosemary Dirago, okia li hado ini hado ni. Na ikohe kanyamogati galete doga kia li. Doga kia ni li ha. Tuko wana na badai. Yuka atakoga kwa ni li la mea tu. Aya, nake chao zika dhodu. Oke, amu medhuda. Tuko li ya nahi henya tutaongea kwa haraka. Ile luga tu utasikia, tunaeza sikia. Tunajua zote. So, Rosemary, karibu. Tumu kumie so Kristo. Tumu kumie higo shiode. Yesu nena wakuroka. Kuroka na ajire ya Maria. Na ine roa ajiro dirago. Mwano yo na ode mwetire ni mwana wako wa todo. Nye de tatae na de kasi ni anji na wake. Kore au ashi ya reto. Eu não jogue, Rosi a dizer não é que está a donar, não ganhou é que o gol é dele. Eu não jogue a dizer ninguém, tu é na área, mas tu é do time teu amor, na tua nação na cidade, não é maroga meu harem mudou ali, tu é tu é o titular, titular é mono, tá o tu é Rosi bye bye. Maroga me, ali é meu meter moia, o da nação na cidade. Santi. Eu vou te querer o doge, te garou se a dizer não horror, tu é o neto. Charles, gado do. Akuhereli ya amagreto wa aderi kama amefika akujepia adui ha brothers and sisters karibu chaus bona asifiwe amen tukumi yeso Kristo tumokumi igoshio de na ni noga meta ha ni ni dato chaus ika thodu uko meta ha ha ni muare wa maito thodu de de wata tawe de kazi ni yake na ni ni geto ida nyari rejali Mwena ine wadho ni Twitter and course ah, Kina Dan na Mwagi uh, So I uh, mix my language my Languages because Kwena dojue matara igua Meariwe age koyo Before I talk as an in-law I would like to give a brief history About my relationship With Rose Rose we, we grew up together 
we were almost age mate, although she was younger than me. And we were brought up by uh, as a as a united family. But there is one thing I would like to reveal today. How joined how Rose joined her career in cartography as has been read in the eulogy. Uh, may I reveal today that there was a family conspiracy between some of us. That was between me and the late, year, late, late Lady Awajira, her elder sister. When Ruth was admitted at Tumutumu Girls High School, because we had gone, had gone through the same system, all of us know that uh, we, we used to look at schools and we would see this one doesn't perform well. If Rose had been admitted to Gadu High School, we would have allowed her to go. But we conspired with Lydia, and to a certain extent, I had a brother, Patrick, who is here, Patrick Gadondu, who we were staying together with in Nairobi, that we remove Rose from A-levels so that she joins a career in cartography. That's how she came. She was in school. He's of forms a public service commission. Now, Guinness, who is here, the Kuabia, again, eh? Hizo form za kuwanza tulijaza na Lydia. Na hizo dizorusa ligia nazo. Hamekulia hiyo karia kutokana na maandishi enye, enye, enye aliadikiwa na Hayoda sister Lydia. Lakini kama vile tumesikia aliedelea na kazi na kafanya. Nikirudi hapa pengine. In 1980 or 81, around 1981, tukawa katika familia, tukawa na mmoja wetu wabaya alikuwa merazo hospitali. Her older sister, Esther, who is with us here, tukienda huko Kenyatta National Hospital kuona our sister Esther, tulikuwa tunaeda kila siku. So kuna kijana moja alikuwa na kuja hapo, alikuwa na kaafro hivi, hatuku mjua, but we were introduced by Esther as her former classmate. That is where they met with the Kiyama. So everything comes with a reason. So, kama, kabla, kama hakugekua na hiyo accident, inye, uh, Esther alikuwa involved in, labda wage kutana na Rose. Na waka kutana, na waka edelea. Si, tunasema the rest is history. So, Rose tukawa, tunakawa na yeye, kule pande ya huruma. Yes. Tukakawa na yeye pande ya huruma, na akaleta watoto wake, akawalea vizuri, juzi nilikuwa naambia, Nambia Dan Ko, we used to admire him because of the kikuyu he used to speak. May I tell you, this, yo, yo, yo loje tumesomewa na kikuyu, siyo mtu mgini ya meandika, ni Dan Ko. Ebu tumpigia makofi. <coughs> Watu wa buruburu muko? Nyinyi diyo mulifudisha Dan Ko kiswahili. <coughs> Tutoke hapo. Sasa nikija pande ingine, sasa kama in-laws, eh, sisi kama familia ya gechuki eh, tunafuraha sana kwa vile tumekuwa tukishirikiana na nyinyi watu kutoka kwa wamururu hiyo familia ya, ya gechuki ngacha tumekuwa tukipelekana vizuri na hiyo uhusiano tunataka iendelee iendelee tu hivyo kwa hivyo yetu ni kuambia dan kuna mwangi na hata shiru sisi tuko na tuko pamoja na nyinyi kama vile tumekuwa urged kwenu mtatuona Na nyinyi especially Danku. Safari ya bao umeanza si safari rahisi ya kuongoza familia. Whenever you meet challenges, know that you have people who are with you. We are there as your uncles both from both sides because I can see kina Kanyero here, kina Mzee Wanderi, all of us will be there for you. Don't hesitate to approach any one of us. Know that we shall be together to make you meet this journey that has go, has, is full of challenges. Otherwise, mine is just to say thank you for all of you who have turned up. As somebody has said here, we are very grateful, th from, uh, grateful to our friends who joined us and in this, this, this hard journey. We have seen your contribution from the time Rose was in, in India and up to the time she rested, and even today that you have joined us in this last journey. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Tumpigia makofi. Asanti. Ah, uh, na waigwa do mashama na gia kuoduko ige. Kama uko na kijana yako na hajao ama hajaolewa, mfukuze hapo. Asia litika iwikarana, asia na asia gimara. Situmaga ikuodotakoko ni kuwa do mashama na gia. 
Tedoigua Rose Masha Maneria Kenyatta. Aya, aya, Mrs. Wanderi, Tafadari, on behalf of the brothers and sisters. Bona Sifiwe. Amen. Lady Death to Magli to Aderi. Nemie, sister Muduri wa Rose. Samuro Kiyama. Nemukuro Kuri Kiyama. Na Rose. Dio do wake gyota kuheana munene muno tondu wedo go tutigota kumenya ni toriko ako kure mudu andu makwire iru kama mudu ni ithwe tondu rose arare ni jiare to de wiki na brother siveri dia ina sister no de rose yo kire guito ni giga na sister sister otale wake herine tona tureta naga sister jiraga my sister ona de ale murwari wale idia Tukiari ya nake, ajiraga, my sister, horoku hoera. Rose, ae na wethe na family ine ito, amo wali kudika na disabora, eno wangu yukuru wala muno, agitomira one of my brothers, ulea youngest, besha siya vigoko, na wedale ya hoto na dale ya vigoko, nwaka mutomira wa besha. Sister, nota sister iniro, no gaito onya la muedi le muno, onatuke muedaga, na eto ya lale na wedi waga imono muno, Na etuwa menyati enda hii dariega, dale ruo ine reu, ruo alio huroko ine na muadhani ya gosho. Amen. Thank you very much brothers and sisters na watoto wao wasimame. Mahali waliko. Brothers and sisters na shia na shia uroga mai. Malore yuega, agikono meta jitearishe. Mwadhani ya kumio. Amen. Mwadhani ya gosho adwa gai. Amen. Mwana sifiwe. Amen. Inside here is a celebration because a general has gone home. And truly, adwa rea moe rose. She was a true general. Nadare general, nore toe general. She was a general of faith. Because her faith in God, her faith and belief in Jesus Christ has been consistent. Today, my friend Waruju, it's not easy to tell your story to your friends because I have known Rose as long as I have known myself. We grew together. We went to the same primary school. Now, do we or ya watu mire tu njita ne muno na rose? Turi stara di one. Nito do. Nito e dete kuina muno. Na ari muno me dete kutoya. Magato iga hagubere tu tuana tu ni ni. Tu kake ine rakiradi. No e dote ina ganje boshio de shia kigo sho shia kamaro. And we were so small. Natokia dana mono mono. Na he did yatua dire. Rosia ke introduce kwa ona niege mo introduce kuitu. Ashiaria ito nao makia dana mono. Kwa wato kore te hamoe. Na maudu maria mo the marit yo igoro lea rose. Tihe de magia. Rose akoreto e consistent. Mutolele ine wake. Ni mwaigu horo waka nitha. Lele ya ajirie kuwa ya. Kuwa ya otuwa ina katuliki duta stara ni tu. Na niega hura manyaga. Na kubuka hile taborini. Lele ya kanitha wake modo wa Catholic. Tuwa ugire kere raha mwe. Nige that we take it yo kwa mukira. And we were very strict Catholics. No hideo tulio kanitha. Tulio primary. Hali odumwe watu higisha ga. So, I take it your quamo kira no ginya uge adire uge confession kore mofea. And now, we kept on asking, now, that particular time, gike no kiria de na kiyo mudhe nyawa umudhi. Nikuwa nati, kiugo kiria kia hadiru wa dhine wa rose. That early time, ni atore tie, na dare na guwe ona hanini. And therefore, Todo ni atu ili atu tikarile. Onatuwa muo ulirathimu. 
onare iridia akoraga je isira une kore ronarira uraririo ni kiriu nie na no gutheka dirathika tugagitheka na he she has just come from a very difficult treatment so that was rose so let us rejoice today let us not mourn in ignorance let us rejoice knowing that truly we are setting off a general of faith fare thee well my friend you have uh, succeeded you have fought the race you have fought a good fight and i know you're happy where you are with the angels thank you and may god bless you to the children may the lord keep you not we shall try to do that but remember even as your parents have gone we na shiari matigetwa goku no makiria ihorira ingi muhoera umuthi ni ati ngai uria wi muoyo ngai wa mami wanyu uria muya aturite etikiti na atare uma hau aroturo ka kumurora matuku ma kumuthi god bless you na sandi sana tumbigie makofi tole kia joyce ni goto inira kifugo kimwe children and reading but god is great we finished and we went to work in the of kenya at the of kenya we worked together rose had leadership qualities she could always lead the other members in the in the class and even in the office where we worked we we worked with her until the year 2000 when she left and me i left in 2006 but we still met and consulted each other because whatever we were doing outside here was the same job yeah so to the children I would say that you had a very good mother and I know she has left you in a good position. God will be with you and may you continue praying for her even as she prays for you wherever she has gone. We loved her so much but God loved her more. May she rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Mwakeigwa kore ji modo na umena kore yege ya kohika. Santi. DSS, Mr. Gitao and Mr. Susan. Ah, ah, hey. Susan. Gitao, ako karibu. Oh, ni wewe, bado. Asante. Ni oge, ni kiwa karibu na wewe. Ama ni soge. Soga. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. I promised myself today I'm not going to cry. Okay, on my behalf, as Susan Washida and my extended Washida family, which Rose was a member of, and on behalf of DSS, DSS is Development Survey Services, under which umbrella Rose was practicing survey. For those who don't know Rose, or what you don't know cartography stands for, Najwa Mukona Manashamba. Cartography is the art of measuring land, going back to the office, drawing what you have measured. After you measure, you produce a map. After you produce a map, you give the land a number and you go and get the title. The rest, you keep records for future reference. That is all what Rose used to do. I know Rose have been of assistance to you. And I want to say something retro that you don't know Rose. Rose was a very learned girl. In Kenya, before the computers came, there was this JICA, you know, Japan International Corporations. They used to come to Kenya and train in government services, special courses. Rose was the one of the pioneers in the Republic of Kenya to be trained in computer-assisted mapping. It used to be called CAM that time. None of you would know that because now you know things we call AutoCAD, GIS, and Geospatial. Things have evolved. Rose alikuwa na chora na computer saida watu alikuwa na chora na mkono. I know most of you don't know that. I was not also there when she was being trained, but I can know that because it is there in record. I would like to say something very special about Rose in my life and the history of how Rose came to settle in this place. Way back in 2012, I bought a piece of land here at Kabit, just behind here. Uh, before, as you are coming from Nairobi, there is a place you buy fruits, there inside, in a special small village called Kasoviro. So I built a small, beautiful home that I thought it was just a, a normal kiosk. And I told Rose and my friends, please, I want to come and show you something that I've done. 
And so with the women, you saw the women like those ones and others and boys, we came to that place. And when we reached there, it was 2014, 4th June. And for those who came, you can remember Rose was the MC of that occasion. A place she has never seen. So I used to tell her, Rose, I am making a small ne nest for myself. A place that is what I would have wanted when I was married as a young girl. Somebody to build a small home for me. So I did it for myself. And now, when Rose came, eh? when the Rose came, kia mahakuwa na amani anymore. Kia ma kuisha, kuisha, kuisha. Nye dereda moshi etosyo. Otora odora gia nairofi. Ke, oyo ne motumia. Ke, 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 ke. Eke goere. Oyo mogo doge edho. Gotiare da yoko doko ko. Gotiare na da yoko hadu hanini. Nye toko shoka. Tule tida toke zikia wa mbololo. Toka he toka goko. Goko gotile na do. Dora wabu iwa nina magua. That is my mother. A very special lady for me. And my dad. Yata omeligono wa kwa nyumbo kolo hende. Nye guitone ya gozi. Ve udaya keke mwela teredi. And deposit. They came, they paid the deposit. Then some few men, and now Rose decided to come and start planting bananas before the lad was paid off. I'm so sorry. I'm stressed. Within six months, that was Dari Horoa June 2014. He was like, he was like, he was like, Oko go 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 go. What year na da yo? Kia mana ni wa loka magerira. Mi akona loke okera ogwo do okera to thie. Now to gi aka to gi aka to kire kia riu dera go ndi to kinyetia ndi to. Ni riu dera the shero ogwo muhuko. Ka menya thele. Eh kiroto kia rosi ndekia. Ni kia uma riu gi kia biria kugia na da yo to kia biria korota. Uria turi ukaga emuri moria na ni de muri moyo to ka ni athuri to ka thikuria nyama na guko. We had a whole story of the things that we had planned for this gentleman. No, no, one was here. We came and he gave the idea. We had like a dog with a tail. Kero to kiarosi yeke yago ko. Nidege kena gera mono. To do nerosi mono ako appreciate odoriyoro eka no gago keni ana kai da ko ruta. So this was the best place that this was the best thing that has ever happened to the late Kiama. Next week. That is how proud and happy he was about this home. Then go get the ogwa, to 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 get the Thank you. and the family can attest to that. It was the real happiness. Any oro goro ya modo iga nagera. Like I didn't wear a nigger the moment you go. Rose, I'm a agast. The vital day. Okay, the go ko nema. You better ege spruce one up. For those who know English, do you know sprucing up? After this, 
ni mwaigwa ati mi ore mundu atindikagwa uceraga mundu ta gwakwa ukarehe muthuri ta gwakwa agacera ta gwakwa ngamwira ngugu ndithegura gwa thoko ikagiyo kiwo hare ugoko karuta mburi nderuta gwoke like that ndenda kugwa ati riri gikeno kya rose kugya na mushiyo toka kumuhurukia toka kumuhurukia gikeno ine kya ngoro yake gikeno ine idho agicuke ni muya hurukire kundu guku and the more than your shoe, look at no room. After that, I can't allow some. I can't even hear dog tiga. And that was the first day. Is that she go 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 away? Then that go go away. You cannot care much. Shoe, you to la mahuru kiare, kiare, kiare kiro to kia maisha mau mau. The todo rose niya to la kanje la kama gezi njere. Is that she go kia to la go ro taga ha 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 neho ha ha neho no horo akiri njaga. I know the more you go and the horo madera he ana. Thank you. Ona jiki muhe ni amati joki ra kumwe rama. Reule, dada kumwe rati reule. Ni e dada geke na moze na toke hudo kia murata wa kwa kodi ya kete tete. Na reu gumoti gani masio mani mani ni? Namora zimu ni moza ni. God is good. All the time. And all the time. Thank you very much. To muhole rohe atumi ya doga di koko dia ahata koko dia we kore na rohe kogo odone ya kia kia haria kweda. Aya Avenue Avenue kwa niaba ya Avenue wale ambao wanafanya kazi na Shiro nitaita Dr. Mackenzie aweze kuongea kwa niamba yao very briefly alafu Anthony Nganga kwa niamba ya workmates wa Mwangi wajitayarishe Aya Dr. Mackenzie tafadhali 2 minutes each tafadhali hmm. At, naomba tafadhali hmm. na Joe daktari wewe 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 hana shamba wewe hana shamba 2 minutes <laughs> Thank you very much. Na mimi naongea anga haraka sana. Bwana asifiwe. Nimesimama hapa kwa niaba ya Avenue Group na wenzangu wako hapa. Wainue tu mikono. Wasimame, wasimame. Wasimame mahali wako ndio wale ile Avenue. upande na upande mwingine. Oh, na tumekuja hapa kuomboleza pamoja na nyinyi wote. Nyinyi wote wenye wako kwa hii community, watoto wa Rose the siblings of Rose, the in-laws of Rose, the friends, and the colleagues of the siblings. We are really, really sorry from the bottom of our heart. I was reading the tribute, and I saw that Rose was kind, she was gentle, she was caring, and it kept coming up in all tributes. And I can tell you for a fact that she gave birth to herself through Joyce. Joyce is an exceptional human being, and she works diligently. She has excellent work ethics, and beyond that, she's kind, she's caring, and she's gentle. And there's something that Moas, is it Moas or Duncan, wrote about Joyce in the tribute, and she said she's the voice of reason. So even as Duncan takes over for the house, Joyce, you're taking over from your mother. And as Avenue Group, we will help you as you transition through this process, and we'll be there for you. Thank you very much. Anthony Nganga, Dr. Mackenzie, kama kuna mtu mgojwa, unaweza muona. Asante sana. Anthony Nganga, kwa niyamba ya Mwangi Swakmit, alafu Alvin Duda Mukora, ajitayarishe. Mwadha ni Yagosho. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Marito makwa ni Anthony Nganga. Dihaha on behalf of Tosh na mpenzi wake Diana, turutakabira nao, kuli ya Royal Media. Diana Korago Kuri Noro, a Dito Korago citizen. Na we have we are here to say Pore to the family, especially Tosh Amekua, my best friend for a long time. To to the Kiruna Kevira Mudenyomwe, like ten years ago. Na to Koleto Hamwe na Urata Wahakuhe, Maudomo, the Maria, my game Maria Ni Gera Idenia, to the Goreto de Muhujia, Gior de Nogo Twika Pasta, Ni Tumutaka Tosh. Ari hau family ya kwa ni ya moi maudo maigeto ni tani ire naake na on my own behalf na my family tosh poleni sana Diana poleni sana mpoke pole pia zamarafiki pale kazini na sema pole thank you so much asante sana Alvin duda mukola ane mukola muega muti kagi na wasiwasi Mr mukola. Oh, Bogo, Bogo Akuje, Thomas Bogo Akuje, Mukola Meogopa, Meskia Kuna Askari. Aya, Bwana Bogo, Adafkama Bogo Hakun, Ayuko Karibu, Bible Fellowship, Sitam, Joan.
anajakia jitayarishe wakiwa na Chaplain Margaret. Bible Fellowship sita Joan. Alafu Jaki ajitayarishe. Good afternoon. And praise Jesus. Amen. My name is Joan and our mom Rose has been part of our fellowship. Uh, one thing about I remember about mom I doubt she even ever knew my name because she would always ask me, how are you, daughter? And today we celebrate her. She's been such a, a strong soldier in the faith, learned a lot of Christian's principles through her and thank God for our faith. Thank you. Mm. God is good. All the time. Um, I have so much to say about us, but today I've said um, I will not cry. I want to celebrate her life. And I want to say that Rose, just like the rose flower, she was an amazing woman. I represent the WM, the Women Ministry. Rose was a member of the Tumaini Women Ministry. Yesterday we had a small speech from the leader of the women ministry of Sita Mburuburu. And she narrated how Rose's warm heart has warmed the many women who stood with her. She's been amazing. For me, she has been a friend that has worked with me for many years. From Kenya Assemblies of God, where we work together at the children's ministry, to Sita Mburuburu. For me, it's a personal journey. And I walked with her through her illness since I got to know she was unwell in April last year till the last week. We celebrate her life. Thank you so much for loving her. And thank you, God, for giving us a rose. Amen. Asante. Uh, Margaret Chaplin. KG. Oh, alafu bogo imetoka msitu wacha yonge. Aya, bogo bogo. Patia bogo. Kwa sababu bim. It's difficult calling her Rose. She was teacher Rose to us growing up in KG Buruburu from Children's Church. She was a mother to most of us. We are Danko's friend from Buruburu. We've grown up together. We'd go hang out at Danko's. She'd welcome us. We'd come hang out in Kagio. She dwell calm us with all our goodness, with all our badness, with all our craziness, and she'll still be a mother to us. Encourage us, remind us of where we came from, and that we should not lose our love, our passion, our desire for God. And to me, it's a testament when I see all the people who call her mom present here, because it speaks to what she spoke to our heart, that that love of God should not disappear from us and that it should be extended to each and every person who's around us. Mom, kitangulia, tukonyumayako, salamia mze, we shall follow in your footsteps. Asante. Thank you very much. Go back to the forest. Asante. Aya, uh, Chaplain Margaret, karibu sana, mom. They can be there. Asante, Asante. Kwa wengi hapa kwa ina salamu nyingi. Yesu neno wakuroka. Roka na jira maria. Ah, uh, Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Eh, ni mimi nimeitwa Chaplain Margaret. Kana nini deto Chaplain Margaret. Na natumika na kanisa ya KAG Buruburu. Nitasugusa Kiswahili kwa sababu kuna wengine hasiki kigelesa lakini wanasikia Kiswahili, si ndio? Hiyo ruga. Asante sana, asante sana. Eh, sasa najua kuna buruburu wengi KJ. Mshugaji nimekuja pamoja na ye. Labda ni masharia. Amen. Buruburu wote tunaweza tukasimama. KJ. Buruburu na dia waimaji wazuri hapa. Buruburu, buruburu, buruburu. Hiyo ni buruburu hata pande ile kuko na buruburu. Asante sana buruburu. Mungu abariki sana. Kwa niamba ya Bishop wetu Dr. Pius Tembo na Pastor Tim 
na washirika wengine pokeni la vile bisetu sa kanisa ya KJ Buruburu na hata sasa hapa tungekuja wengi lakini hatugeweza kukuja wengi kwa sababu tuko na masishi ingine saa hii tumesimama hapa ingine inaendelea hata asubuhi mchungaji mmoja alikuja kuwa pamoja na washugaji hao wetu wasuli wa sita akasimama na wao na mimi nikiwa kuingine tukabadilishiana hapo kafati akarudi kule mimi nimekuwa moshare akaenda na wao na mimi nikakuja upande huu Mungu wetu abariki sana sasa huyu amelala ni lafiki ni dada na mfanyikazi pamoja na mimi kwa miaka nimeishi buruburu na labda hata sehemu nyingine aliyekuwa Catholic nilikuwa katikist huko siku hizo tena tukakuwa kanisani ya buruburu tukitumika pamoja na watoto hawa wamekuria buruburu si ni mnaona mimi ni mama ya watoto hawa wamekuwa kwa buruburu si kukulia oh. <laughs> I signed this and I signed for the collection. Mm. Thank you. Atwa nimekuria? Amekuria buruburu, yani makole ile buruburu. Eh. Haya, amekuria buruburu. Ah, hivyo. I signed kwa kunisaidia. Hata Kiswahili sio mzuri sana. Hata wapi? Lakini ninashukuru Mungu. Wamekuria buruburu. Ni hiyo hiyo iko sawa kabisa simumeelewa basi eh ni hiyo eh pia huyu ambaye amejiuga na bwana yake bwana yake tulifanya kasi pamoja ya missions tumeenda kule kwenye jiwa kali pokoti 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 west pokoti kule mnaona watu wakiangusha na jiwa tumeenda na dugu ambaye ameasha na sasa mimi nataka kusema tu my last visit na dada yetu ilikuwa two weeks ago before aodoke aende India tulienda hapo kutebea na bishop wetu na pasta ambaye nimeita James Masharia ambaye walifanya kasi pamoja naye kwa Children's Church na dada mwingine ako mahali hapa tulipofika si kuweza kufikilia ati tunaenda kumwaga aende idia na aende kwa baba si kufikiria hivyo kwa sababu tulipoingia alikuwa excited kwa kuona pasta masharia pasta masharia sikuje kusimama hapa watu waache kusikia nikisema pasta masharia alikuwa excited kuona pasta masharia hata siku moja pasta masharia Pasta Masharia umekuja? Ah, karibuni sana sana sana. Umekuja kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kupaga tukuje. Pasta Masharia ni huyu. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kukuja kwa ofisi yako nishukue material ya Bible Club. Kwa sababu nimetayarisha kanisa hapa ya watoto wengi walio mahali hapa. Na tukaomba. Na akatwambia yeye amepona na akatusindikisha within two weeks saturday nikusikia ameenda mke mmoja wa mshugaji alinisitua sana akikibiria mimi na simu yule ameogosa nyinyi hapa kwa wibo alifaa guwe ya red kuliko kufaa ya black ana nikibiria na simu anaibadia this is what has happened yameni siku hasa kuzungumza nilimwambia wewe rudi washana na mimi kwa sababu si kuamini lakini naendelea hata sasa hivi nikiamini pasta naendelea nikiamini kuna kuna mahali tutaenda baada ya maisha haya amen tukimpenda huyu tukae katika utakaso wa Yesu amen na tutampata kule arieda Mungu abariki na abariki hawa watoto na nyinyi tuzimame na hawa watoto tukiwaombea kwa kila sehemu tunaweza kuwa na washugaji wa sitamu tushikane mikono 
kama vile huyu dada ametuleta pamoja na baba alitueta pamoja kwa sababu tulikuwa kwa uwaja huu na pasta wa sita tushikane pamoja tuendeshe hii jamii ambayo tumeashiwa Mungu abariki sana Asante sana Magaidi Pasta nataka kusalimiana unasikia hiyo ni kukulia buluburu alafu na kukibia kwa simu Amen kibia kwa simu Mwadhani ya Goshwa Amen Amen. It is so sweet to serve the Lord. It is so rewarding to serve Jesus. And what I can say is Oria augete ati aria makarehe aige uthamaki ni wake makahe ni ataja tatene na tene. That was the passion of our dear mom and may it be our passion to bring many not only children but generations for the kingdom of God. May God bless you. Amen. Nitago masharia. Asante sana mchungaji Macharia tumemaliza sasa wa mwisho Kinodia. Sera Kinodia kwa niamba ya marafiki. Sera Kinodia. Oh, ako hapa anakuja. Karibu sana. Alafu sasa tutaingia kwa tributes. Kwa daughter in Rose Diana wageni na Jacinta wajitayarishe na Crea wa Mbugu. Akuje after mama ameongea. Huyu aongeangi sana. Amen. So let me use the language I can talk very fast. Sure. Uh, I'm Sarah Kenodhi. I'm born again and a friend of Rose, but one of the many, many friends of Rosie. And I, I just want to mention one group, uh, where we used to pray together, worship. This is jewels of Jesus. Tafadhali, jewels of Jesus, Musimame. And then you wave jewels of jewels Jesus. Of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Ni, ni mawe ya yes. tamana ya Yesu. Kabisa. Alimawe. Okay, asanteni. Oh, this group we used to pray with Rosie. O although I met Rosie at KAG Buruburu, where we served in the children's ministry. Now, I don't repeat anything which has been said. But I want to say, Rose, before she left for India the first time, we had a function in my rural Nairobi home and we went there for Akesha, and she was not feeling well. And the whole night it was Kegosho, and Rose stayed with us, even in Paka Asubuhi, because of her love for God. Now, another thing, Rose has left us with a very big assignment. You know if you are a friend of Rose, zire prayer request utapatiwa. Every time she knows somebody sick, or somebody going through a difficult situation, Ujue hiyo prayer request, utapatiwa. And we already have those many of us, may God help us to be able to stand and kuombea wale watu, Rosie, aritupatia. Secondly, I know people have talked about Rose being caring. And I, Rose, if you made friends with the Rose, she brought in so many friends. So you became a friend of a friend of a friend. And we are a big chain of friends uh, through Rose Kiyama. I want to say Rose loved God and he, she did not want to take the things of God lightly. And if Rose thought you are pretending, Rose will tell you straight away. Hata kuficha. So what we are saying, Rose as a friend has taught us much. We have walked a journey together. But it's the will of God to give Rose a rest. We have accepted and may God help us to continue, we have also been given assignments to work with the family. There are those areas where Rose kept on telling us and mentioning her children by name. So we want to thank God that she also entrusted us with the life of her children. And we thank God that God gave us that work together. We bless the Lord for that. God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much. Musimame na familia tribute. Jacinta, Diana Wageni, na Crea Wabogu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, I am a daughter-in-law in progress. Unfortunately, mom never saw the process complete. But this is my tribute to one woman that I loved. Mom, nothing could have prepared me for this. No words can express the feeling of despair deep in my heart. Mom, 
Mm. First and foremost, I would like to thank you for receiving and accepting me and my daughters into your life and into your family. Thank you for always making me feel important and at home. Thank you for the moments we shared, conversations we had. Watching you ail was heartbreaking, but every day you proved to be a very strong woman. You always put a brave face when we were, when we were with you. You whispered the word, I'm okay, so very often. You would wake up every time we came to see you, that's in hospital and even at home, and harness the little energy you had to smile and feed yourself. You would smile and always encourage us that you were doing well. I honestly do not know um, that my grooming was the last, uh, was prepared I knew to go home. We were not yet done. I was to clip your toenails and apply some lovely nail polish. I will always remember you for the love you had for your children and your family, your selflessness and honesty. My daughters, I have two, I have Maya and I have Zuri, will always remember their doting grandmother that allowed them to be who they are in her presence. I pray one day when I'm faced with adversary, I'll be half the woman that you are, full of strength and life. I will miss and continually love you. Rest in peace, mom. Thank you very much. Jacinta, may the process uh, come to call in Jesus' name. To say amen. amen. Ah, yeah. Praise God, everyone. Amen. Uh, this is my tribute to my mom-in-law. I read this tribute to honor your life and the profound impact a void that cannot be filled, but your memory will live on forever. You are more than just a mother-in-law to me. I remember you taking me for walks when I was expecting your namesake, Wamboy. The numerous times you came through for me and Moas, and the times you taught me resilient woman, and I admired you for that. Your legacy will live on through the lives of those you touched, and we will always remember you with the love and affection. Rest in peace, Mom. And I know that you will be deeply, deeply missed. Thank you very much, Diana. Lakini sasa tugekuwa ba night shift ukoja kidogo. Endelee na Dan. Ko. Asante. So a uh, Crea wa Mbugo. Kwa niamba ya nieces. Crea wa Mbugo. Okay, the grad children wakuje wasome hao. Wote wasimame hapo. Josh, when I got the news that you had gone, I was heartbroken. I said a prayer for you. Mom and Dad told me that you are in paradise and no longer in pain. That made me happy. I will miss your stories, I will miss your food, and most of all, I will miss you. Maya, Zuri, Theo, Nala, and Crystal will miss you too. Say hi to Guka for us. We love you forever. Rest in peace, Joshua. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, the start career is out of the country. Kama kuna nismigini ya naeza soma on her behalf. Akuje. Kama hawiko to open our programs, tuweze kujisomea. Tuseme amesoma. Sasa nataka kuita brothers and sisters. Kwa niyabe ya brothers and sisters. Akuje, moja wa wasome. Dio sasa tuite watoto. Uote watatu. My name is Mary Mudon. You heard that accompanied my sister to India. And uh, here is the tribute um, from brothers and sisters to our beloved sister. Although you have left us in the, in the fresh, your presence remains alive in our memories. The moments we shared with you will always be cherished. 
especially the fruitful conversations we had about our family's welfare. You were a peacemaker who always preached the importance of harmony among us, and you never hesitated to lend a helping hand to lighten our burdens. Your legacy will forever be remembered, and we vow to uphold it with utmost devotion. We remember you encouraging us from the Bible at a time that our Savior, Jesus Christ, too went through suffering and hardship and was eventually crucified for our sins. This is the moment we are having now. We cannot overlook your unwavering support and comforting ones even during the difficult times when you are in pain. We deeply appreciate the profound impact you had on our lives. Your departure to the heavenly abode has united us more than ever, as we take comfort in knowing that you are now in the arms of our Lord in the beautiful city of Zion. Let's well, dear sister, until we reunite again, our dear sister. Amen. Nime ipiga vita, virivyo vizuri. John, you got to do? Nime ipiga vita, nime ipiga vita, irivyo vizuri. Mwendo nime umaliza, imani nime ilida. Mwendo nime umaliza, imani nime ilida. Mwendo ni meumariza, imani ni meilida. Mwendo ni meumariza, imani ni meilida. Thank you, thank you. Atudu, kuja usome. Oyo no olato, magero wa digo kuona ate teti, eh? Ayu, ni idhari ya kurea. Okay, thank you. We already miss you. You have left a hole in our hearts and in our lives. You are a sister, a friend, a mentor, and a second mom to so many of us. It is hard to imagine a future without you, your energetic voice, your laughter, a never ending smile. You are a good person, kind, caring, always willing to lend a helping hand to your brothers and sisters, their children too. Both Buruburu and later Kagio became second home to so many of us. When we lost our beloved brother Kiyama, you became the rock of comfort for your children and to us too. You worked hard to keep the extended family together. Today, as we say our final goodbye to you, we cannot help but feel your presence everywhere we go. Even as you battle the illness, you are never short of encouragement even breaking into songs during one of our visits to see you in Buruburu. Today, our message is not goodbye. It is to thank you. Thank you for being champion of love. That, that Thank you for sharing us on our success. Thank you for always using all your resources, even when we did not have enough for yourself to reach out, to reach out. You have always had unshakable faith in God, and now that you have finally rested, we pray that you shall rest in internal peace and glory. Say hello to our more, our brother Kiyama. He must still be telling his jokes up there, and finally you can be reunited. Tell him not to worry. We shall look out for your children and their children too. Never will they feel alone, no matter how long. We will always remember you. You will stay always loved, remembered in our hearts. Ka koma dayo, Rose. Thank you. Sante sana. Hoyo akola kwa headmaster. Ugekona kwa naka tadi yete shukuru na umuone. Sante sana. So, sasa nataka kuita watoto wa Rose. Wakuje dan kwa kiwa ongoza. Na ube kare kawibo. Yes. Sante. Buwana sifiwe. You know, sometimes, when someone 
is absent. You even miss the arguments you had. Is it true? Like you, 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 they'd rather be there and you argue about the things you are arguing about than them being absent. So for the first time ever in my life, the, the argument between my mom and my dad about whose genes of music I took from will never be heard again. They always argued. They always said, my dad always says, Mimi, diye ni rikupatia jeans za muziki. Then mom from the kitchen, Wago! Hiya imetoka kwetu! And I was so conflicted, I didn't even know who was actually the musician in our family that I took after. And you know, as children, you cannot side with whoever you want, okay? Wisdom dictates. Unambuwa, ama, daku unona aje? We, una support nani? Si we, we fathi. So, but I will dearly miss them. So this is my tribute to my beloved mom. Words fail me. I vividly remember typing a tribute for dad three years ago. And as much as it broke me, I didn't think that I would be drafting another one in your honor this soon. Perhaps I always thought you'd be around forever, or maybe I thought you were immortal. But God has his plans, and they are above us, so we accept and do the needful. Today I say goodbye to my beloved mother, my rock, my confidant, and my inspiration. She had a heart of gold, a contagious smile, and unwavering love for her family. Mom, you are, you, mom, you always were a woman of incredible strength and resilience. You raised us with unwavering devotion, always putting our needs before your own. You taught us the importance of living for Christ, hard work, kindness, perseverance, and you never gave up on us even when things got tough. This morning as I was coming, we were discussing about how people of my generation, early 80s, we were raised with an iron fist. I remember this one time, I had been given a curfew of 9 p.m. And I went to church and came back at 9.45, strolling in as if the house is mine. I met Boxer himself, Samuel Kiyama, at the door. Without saying anything, he pounced on me. And at that time when he was punishing me because I have broken the rules, from the corner of my eye, I could see my mom running from the bedroom. And I knew my savior has come. Apparently, it was a tag team match. <laughs> and mom took over from where dad stopped. And I will never forget that day. Mom, I will miss our moments, our long drives, where we talk for hours on end, your warm embrace, and your assurance when I couldn't find myself. I take comfort in knowing that you lived a life full of fun. <laughs> It's the inner bouncer in me. Anyway, um, uh, I want to read my tribute. <sighs> Dear Mama, where do I even begin? This is undoubted, undoubtedly, undoubtedly the most painful experience I have ever faced. We have walked a tough journey together. But through it all, you remained the strongest woman I know. When I wrote that, Nilianza tuku kumbuka from the time tukika na maade and she just started saying anaskia tu uchungu kidogo. Most of the times, mimi ndiyo nilikuwa kama dereva wake. Na tulikuwa tunakosana sana. Because she never used to like my driving. Kwanza wajua mini mtu wa very fast. Eh? So most times I would drive her. <laughs> Unaskia, eh, 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 muagi, muagi, no, muagi, can you slow down? And then we just make jokes. Really, really fun with her. Um, I'm saying she's strong because from the time she started feeling the pains, from the moment to the end, Hosi ya kwanza, akaambiwa kwa na ulcers, akapewa dawa za ulcers, anakunywa easy ulcers as ishi. I have seen the progression. So your unwavering faith in God shone through even in your last moments on this earth 
when you uttered his name with your final breath. Your belief in God was unshakable, and it was a testament to your character. I never describe Mave as always being on autopilot. What do I mean by autopilot? Mave hange why make even one decision without consulting her maker, God. Sangini hata ni kama inakuwasha kidogo. Unawambia, mam, sasa hii, tumepata hii pesa. Mili kuwa naona, hey, nimekuja na proposal yangu, we should do this and this and this. And she's like, okay. This is a good idea, but let's listen to what the Lord has to say. Hi. She always consulted God in everything. And I admired that about her. So, you were a superwoman in my eyes. But I had no idea just how far-reaching far your impact was until I heard how many people regarded you as their mother, sister, and friend. Your inner beauty transcended our small, neat family. And you truly were an angel sent from above. So, Sazilia likuwa na progress na yu gonjwa. Um, I remember, me, I remember the day when I was auntie. And then, I was there, just doing my driver duties. So this time, we were used to going to um, Daktari, Dr. Gladwell Kyarie. Yeah, but there very many thanks to her. Um, and we used to get a lot of positive stories. Hey, one time we went for a blood test. Na tukirudi kwa kiarie, she looked at the blood test and there's something called a tumor marker. And that thing had shot really, really high. I think normal levels in around, I don't know, somewhere between below 5,000. If I am wrong, correct me. But the tumor marker said it's 12,000. And we got so worried. I remember your sick with Kasema. So the doctor even recommended us to go back to Lancet and do another test because we felt like this is not, this is an error. We did the test together. That day we were also booking a PET scan. I Kenyan Lazimo Pitiye Ministry of Health. I think there's something you have to go through for you to get a PET scan. So we were going to get the second results on our way to um, the Ministry of Health. And the second results came as almost now 13,000. I remember when she got those results, there was silence. She really didn't say anything. For like five minutes, staring just in the air. And I remember her telling me the first time, once, Whichever way this goes, God is in control. And we had a moment while we were driving to Ministry of Health. We were crying together. I was playing a song that I really love for her. Jaira, you are enough. And I will be content in every circumstance. Niko sawa, Niko sawa. So, um, Kusema Ukweli, that is the day we started preparing ourselves because it spelled doom for us. It was not easy. So um, <coughs> so later on, it happened the way it happened. Um, we went to India. <laughs> um, yani maadhe, yani maadhe tuwele watu mspesho. Um, na kumbukanga, sazile tunafanya our rounds. And then maybe we need parking. We need, we're going to meet a client in town and we need parking. Zile vitu watu wanapitia. We should not be going through the things that we go through. Something needs to be done somewhere. We can't be running there. Now mostly, see at those people over there know anything that ours don't know. Yeah? Just take something small. We were being treated like human beings. They were giving mom hope. They were laughing with her. Hi mom, you know, treating her very well. 
So ingine unaangalia hapa unaona there's a lack of motivation. I don't something needs to be done in the healthcare system in our country. Something definitely needs to happen. Because there are people who are less privileged. Anyway, hiyo ni ya baadaye. So anyway, um your hearty laugh was infectious. I will dearly miss sharing mama's boys jokes with you. I will never forget the special fried egg you would always make for me whenever I visited, which had that motherly love, special ingredient. You always knew how to make me feel loved and appreciated. During your final days, we shared the most intimate moments. To leave, when we landed in India, she, we, we stayed in a guest house. The first day we went, she was done tests. We came back. The second day she was done tests, she had to be admitted. So I don't get rude. So that night, I slept by myself in the guest house. So I had to pack my things and go nanikahamia hosi. So I was sleeping next to mom. And I remember every night just watching her, breathing in pain. Yeah? She can't even say anything. Just breathing in pain. And I was just looking at her. Najaribu nampatia encouragement. We talk a bit. But it was a lot. It's so hard. Kuona mtu wako in pain and you can't really do anything, you know? So, um, you are a passionate woman who bore a huge burden for many things. You are always quick to empathize with, the, with, empathize with and encourage others. But fortunately, you couldn't do the same with me. Watu consistently. I've seen, I've seen it in her family. She's the one who bears the burden most of the time. I didn't want her to be like that with me. And she knew. I really wanted to be the one. Because she carried a lot. Yeah? sometimes. And she's there asking me, Kama nimekula. I'm going to mom, what do you mean? When do you kula? And we argue, ataki kukula sayo. <laughs> Most times, alikuwa nakula and I say, ah, eke, dee tu, neke thao, dika ena. Alikuwa nakula tu, ndiyo ni mwachane na ye. Because I really used to bother her. Yeah? So, that was mom. Yeah? Um, <sighs> I saw you as my daughter, who needed to be taken care of, defended, and protected. You were my defender since childhood, and it was my turn to return the favor. Um, something I have to mention. When mom was in HDU, first of all, I was called. Now, <laughs> I was with a friend of mine on Saturday. Ubesi yangu wa nitu wa Yeah? Ilikuwa kwake. And then I just saw Nairobi Hospital calling. It's usually a very frightening call when you open it, whenever you see that. Yeah? So ni kambia Mwasidhe. You know, Mwasidhe is that guy who always dresses very smart, always sharp. Lakini sayi ni mepigiwa na ni emergency. Ni kaingia kwa shawa haraka, ni katoka. Then Mwasidhe said, wacha pia miningie, you can't go like that. I want to accompany you. So, I went to the car and I was waiting for Mwasidhe. Mwasidhe, alikuwa tuwa na ogatu vile ya na oganga. And I I can assure you, by the time Mwasidhe was finishing putting up, uh, putting on his makeup, eh? akuje pale kwa parking. I was uh, almost at City Stadium. Yeah? And God help me. Vile nilipeleka yo gari jogorod. I hope sitafutui somewhere. I hope you've not seen a juu nilipeleka kama wazimu. So um. When we were at, H at the HDU, um, we were there, all of us, and we were there holding Made, hugging her. She was there trying to say the name of God and everything. And at some point I noticed, tukotu mimi na sistangu, tunamshikilia. This was in hindsight, nikifikiria, where is Danko? But nikafikiria na nikaona, nikakumbuka, something very symbolic. While we were there with mom, Danko was pacing around behind us. And when he was pacing there behind us, it dawned on me. It is very symbolic. Danko is now the head of this family. And he was there protecting us. He was there. He's our gatekeeper now. 
Danko, mimi kama rigidi wako. <laughs> yeah. Tumeona kila mahali kwa magazeti na manini. Mimi am here to stand behind you. I know it's a God ordained um, um, a position that you are in. Nita support will talk support. Okay? You're my big brother and I love you to death. So, as I finish, I know that you're now with Dad reunited in paradise. You are inseparable in life and death. And I find comfort in knowing that you are interceding for us before we join you at the Lord's feet. Again, I have to mention, thank you so much, my siblings. I remember when I was being given very, very hard news, Nadaktari. Now I had to relay the information back to my brother and sister. And they were always there to support me, to kiongea kwa simu. Yeah, Danko and to encourage. She ran out with What do you need? Yeah, yeah, ni plana already. Yeah, kuna pesa. I mefika ngapi? You know. And like a three-legged uh, stool, I feel like if we are together, yeah, we can hold this family firm and strong. Yeah. So um, your grandchildren, family, and friends will dearly miss you. Um. As a famous rapper that I know called Tupac said when he sang a song for Mama, because there's no way I can pay you back, but my plan is to show you that I understand. You are appreciated, dear Mama. Rest, rest in peace, Mom, and best friend. Thank you very much. Asante to Mpigia Makofi. It's good to give them time, because it's their time. Oh, dear, I'm to let her So, Shiro. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. <coughs> I'm going to read my tribute. Our queen, an iron lady, my first best friend. You are an exceptional woman. You were so loving, so caring, and extremely protective of us. Mommy were our lioness. You would do anything for us. Mommy made many, many sacrifices to ensure you gave us the best life. <coughs> and my my earliest memories of life with you as a baby was how I would hang on the curtain rails wailing as I watched you go to work. You were my best friend even from when I was such a small baby. And with, when my brothers have talked about their different experiences during their drives with mom, I remember when sometimes we would um, couple when one person has maybe left their car when she's when I was working along Gong Road and maybe she's at uh, Ministry of Land so maybe we just link up and we'd, we would be on traffic and then now maybe we are bored with the playlist we would <laughs> we would look at um, this Nissan's these different circles and then we would guess where the what the abbreviation stood for so like we would look at look around then we would look uh, maybe a circle called i think there's a circle called rukagina or something i think there's something like that so we would be like hmm rukagina rwanda uganda you know rwanda uganda karen na nairobi as in it was just a lame joke but that's how we would pass time in traffic we would always wonder hmm nice circle inenda wapi nemwa Asema Nevada, Muiki, na Australia. As in, it was just something we used to do together and laugh. And then we put back the music. Anyway, it was just, those were just our, <laughs> our times together. <sighs> you are such a huge fan of me. And 
even when I had self-doubt, you always encouraged me that hard work and consistency eventually pays off. And I have to mention that I was taught by both my mom and dad. They drilled that in my brain, that you don't just work hard and then you sit and wait for the fruits. You have to be consistently working hard for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Mommy, I don't know how you managed to be a strict parent while still being our friend. And I like explaining it. It's like your best friend, but una gopa. You don't want to cross them. It was just interesting. That's a skill. I know my brothers and in-laws, we have a, we need to, to know those tricks that she was using because she, she was such a great friend to us and even people would notice but ikifika saya discipline hata kama tungekuwa hapa angekuja pa ibondo kaka chini as if she never spared us <laughs> but that was just mom we have learned so much from you mom uh, because everyone who knew rose and i mean everyone who knew rose knows that she never minced her words or postponed giving lessons to anyone who was willing to listen to her and i also like mentioning that she would not miss her words and give those lessons, and sometimes it would not matter whose child you are, and sometimes even how old you are. <laughs> she was just the same with everybody. She was just awesome. <sighs> you are such a stylish mama. My love for jewelry actually came from her because that's how my dad used to, that was their love language, jewelry. So. I always used to admire her, and she always used to have bright hair. For those who remember my mom before she cut her hair, it was always either gold or some light red and all the henna and all those things people used to put those days. So that's why you'll always see me with colored hair. <laughs> I never have black hair, really. And she was just an all-rounded woman. I used to really admire and, and look up to you. Mommy, I really, really wish your last days on earth were simpler, honestly. You endured so much. And even as Danko, Moas and I watched you breathe your last, we got a sense of relief that your pain had ended, but we immediately started missing you, ma'am. I'll never understand why you had to go through all that. I wish your grandchildren had more time with you. However, you have no other option but to accept all this. We will uphold your legacy, mommy. We will keep the lessons that you taught us. And we will make the best out of our lives. I love you. I love you, our beautiful Rose. You fought a good fight. You can now rest. Thank you very much. To apigia makofi tafadari. Kwa meweza kusidikiza mama yao vizuri. Na tunashukuru mungu. Uko hapa. Uko na mama yako, uko na baba yako. Lakini umekua mtu wa empesa. God is good. Uwa umuti kualia, unamuti kalie. Ninyue derera. Uko hapa, mama yako wamekua Mpesa, wakumtumia tu Mpesa, Mpesa hamuona nangi. God is good. Learn the lesson. Tuko pamoja. A day will come. Utasema nini? Yeah? Eh, tafadhali, tushugulikia wazazi. Mina kuwaga advocate wa wazazi. Na kubushanga vijana hata Nairobi. Tafadhali, enda uangalie nani? Mzazi. Fuliza, enda panda matatu hata bila kitu. Wataeza kuku appreciate. Thank you very much. Tunaenda sasa kuingia upande wa kanisa. Laki Lakini before then, kuna mzee alikuwa na miti ya maembe tukiwa wadogo. Primary school. Yetu ilikuwa primary. Si primary, primary. Ni polling station. So, sasa, asubuhi January, we used to wake up very early in the morning. Tunaenda pale unakimbia, unaokota ile maembe ambayo imemwagika. Unaenda and there was a caution. Ufai kuchukua muembe, maembe juu ya mti. Lakini hiko itini, unaweza chukua. 
So tunaendelea hivyo. January ilikuwa wakati mzuri sana kwa wazazi. Hawaja tuamusha kwa sababu tulikuwa tunamuka mapema. Tuende tukichukua maembe. Sasa, one of the days, tukakuta yule mzee tukitenda nyumbani lunch time. Hamekata muembe wetu. God is good. Yani ata hage tusimamisha atuulize kama akate ama kama tunataka kukula maembe. Si alitukosea. Alikuwa na haja ya kutukonsort. Na sini sisi tulikuwa tunakula maembe. Ye? Yeah? Na muti ilikuwa yetu. Ah, muti ilikuwa yake hii. Eh? Lakini sasa maembe si hage tuuliza tu agalau kama akate. Ama agoje pengine machi hivi akate huo muti. God is good. Sasa wakati wa muembe unaitwa rose umefika. Muembe umekatwa. God is good sitam. Haleluya. Muembe umefanya nini? Mwenyewe Danko na Tosh na Shiro. Muembe Mungu amekata. Eh, ametosheka na hiyo maembe ambayo hiyo maembe mumekula mtosheke nayo. Tuko pamoja. Eh, mwenye muembe amefanya nini? Amekata. Tuiganire muebene wale gwo ni mwene maebe maria tulete tuiganire na mo na gainia go tuhenya nataka kuita pastor Brenda ili sasa aweze kuendelea thank you very much tunaenda kanisa wale ambao hawaedagi kanisa mujitayarishe asanti naomba tu appreciate our very able mc kama una appreciate mtu appreciate ka unamaanisha tafadhali It's very symbolic that uh, my friend here, MC Samuel, tulikuwa na ye when Mr. Kiyama also rested. So we are still the same people who worked this journey together. And uh, I was telling him when we were beginning this service that the next time we come here now, we want to come for something different. As uh, one of the sister-in-law mentioned that she is a sister-in-law in progress. So we pray now we'll come here to celebrate and dance because now the progress has already been fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. We've been sitting for long. Tafadhali naomba tuamke wakati huu tunataka ku... Mgeuke jirani wako muulize kwa haya yote ambao ya mesemo kuhusu dadai tu Rose. We umetoka na nini? Akupatie mambo matatu ambao anatoka na wapa. Tafadhali nombo uliza jirani lako. Worship team tafadhali Johnny. Worship team, worship team. Make sure amekupatia jibu ni nini ametoka nayo. So we want to do uh, a few choruses as we get into the uh, as we continue with our service. Actually, whatever we've been doing, it's been part of the service, and we want to continue doing that. So please come this side, come in front here. Tafadali tu changamke, tu changamke, tu okwe wakati. I told you to kianza kwamba I'll only be lenient to the family. Lakini sisi wengine wetu wote. That's why I was very strict with time. Kwa sababu najua. For somebody who was special like our mom Rose, we can say so many things about her because she was a very special woman. And every person that came across her, she touched her life in a very beautiful way. And so that's why I was very strict with time because if we can speak about our mom Rose, we can never exhaust it. So worship him just one chorus, please. Oh Lord my God. When I in awesome wonder, consider all the works thine hands has made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thine path throughout. Thy universe displayed Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art How great thou art Then sings my soul 
my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Moyo wangu na ikuimbie. Jinsi wewe ulivyo mku. Moho yangu na ikuimbie. Jinsi wewe ulivyo. Then sings my soul, then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Tuimbe hii mba mba inasema ni tabibu wa karibu Before the worship team go tafadhali Tabibu wa karibu Tabibu wa ajabu Narehema za daima Wanawake na washike Wanawake Na washike Kusifu jina lake Kusifu jina lake Imbeni Imbeni Malaika Sifaza Yesu Bwana Pwekeli Metukuka Jina lake Yesu Hallelujah Amen We can have our seats At this point, uh, indeed, we really thank God for the Father that he has brought us. And uh, if by any chance, umekwazika because of time strictness, tafadhali nombu tuwe radhi, sikupenda kwetu. One of greatest things that stood out for Mam Rose is that that time we came to lay our dad Kiyama here, 
she was a, a woman who was very strict with time. And I remember when we were conducting the service, she said, I want this service to be done by this particular time. So when you see us doing things, we are not doing things of our own. We are trying to honor the memory of our dear beloved Mam Rose. Amen. So you still love me? Amen. I love you too with the love of Christ. At this point, and uh, I'll also be strict with them, especially them. I want to call all the clergy who are here. Can we just come and line up here? All the pastors, wachungaji wote mali popote, kama uko hapa mali popote, uko tafadhali naomba, ukuji hapa. You'll just tell us your name, where you pastor, and then you sit down. There is a preacher who is coming. I know pastors. The Lord has given us the grace to preach. Just say your name, where you pastor, and then you sit down. Tafadali. Amen. Buwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Na wabatu ni punge mkonoko kwa heshima. Amen. Minaito mchunga Jisairas Goge Joroge. Ni meokoka Yesu ni buwana. Na mshukuru buwana kwa sabi ya nafasi. Abo ni mepewa ni kaweze kusarimiana. Ni metoka Mokoroine. Mahari tunaita Kehote. Kanisa naito Amazing Grace Ministries. Na shiri mahari hapo. Na dada moja. Sister ke abaya ni Luz. Abaya naito Esther. Ako mahari hapa. Tunashiriki pa moja na ye. Na wakati ya liweza kuniambia mepoteza sister yake. Nikasema ya kwaja da kuja kushiriki pa moja na ye siku ya leo. Na pia yo familia ya geshoke. Ni majirani ya kanisaretu pare kehote. Mungu wa fariji, hawape nema ya kuatosha. Amen. Asante sana. Hallelujah. Bwana aspe sana. Mi naidua pastor wawero. Ni meokoka dhuhuri hii. I'm preaching with the word power ministry. Kanisa lile liko pale nyuma. Na mungu ni muema, huyu sister Luz, ni majilani. Pole sana kwa familia. Tumusifu Yesu Christo. Tumusifu Yesu Christo. Mwajina na nisha Father James Duma. Kutoka parokia ya Mkuruwene. Aurede Fatima. Bamba huyu Luz. Alikuwa falafiki yangu na kiongozi wa kudi la waze. Ni watu tudanjuana na hapa na dio sababu. Nirisema tuje tuchirikiana pamoja. Tumusidikise na tuombe pia familia. Tumusifu Yesu Christo. Tumusifu Yesu Christo. Asante sana wachungaji. Please let's appreciate all the pastors. We really appreciate you. We honor you in our midst. And we thank you for even spending time just to come and stand with the family and to honor them with your presence. God continue to bless you and your ministry. At this point, I want to call on Brendan, Brenda Waititu and Grace Gishuki come to just come and read for us the first reading and the second reading. So Brenda, you're going to take the first reading. That is from the book of John chapter 14, verse 1 to verse 6. And then Grace, you're going to do the second reading that is... Psalms 46 and uh, verse Psalms 46, 6 and verse 7 and then Psalms 24, 1 to 2. Praise God. Mother Niagosho, the tag of Brenda, Waiti Toa Mwagi, na Gudama first reading from John 14, 1 to 6. Don't be afraid and upset, Jesus told them. Believe in God and believe also in me. There are many rooms in my father's house and I'm going to prepare a place for you. I will not tell you this is if you are not so and after, uh, if, and after, uh, and after I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come back and take you, and take you to myself so that you'll be where I am. You know the way that leads to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. So how can we know the way to get there? 
Jesus answered him, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. That's the word of the Lord. God is good. I am Grace Gishuki, and this is our second reading uh, from the book of Psalms 46, verse 6 to 7. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Then Psalms 24, verse 1 to 2. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. That is the word of the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, Chris and Brenda. Just before we get to hear the word of the Lord, as we mentioned before, our mom Rose was, uh, she has actually two churches that she was very actively in. In one of them was KJ Buruburu, uh, and we've seen our chaplain Margaret, Margaret, and Pastor Walter, wherever you are, and all the KG family. Let's all be upstanding and just wave once again. It's good to acknowledge you once again. And then we are uh, the Sitam Buruburu, where our mom uh, rested while she was still there. So I'll request all the Sitamites, regardless of which assembly you come from. Sitam family, wherever you are, just be upstanding, not only in Buruburu, but all the Sitamites who are here, you are probably a Sitam member in another different assembly. Amen. Thank you so much for finding time just to come and send your own. God richly bless you. And with us, of course, the Sitam pastor, we have Pastor Chris Guara, who is with us also. And to bring us the word is one of our pastor. Who, was, who is also in charge of care and visitation in Sitamburuburu and is none other than our very own Pastor Vincent Paul Kabali. So I'll request him to come as Pastor Vincent come. Pastor Vincent is from Uganda, so he's going to use more of English as he bring forth the word of God this wonderful afternoon. So let's pray, even as our pastor come and share the word of God. And so... As you want to pray and as you want to come to hear the word of God, as our MC well put it concerning that tree that was cut off, we don't know what time that the Lord is going to cut us off. He doesn't need permission from anyone to cut the trees that he planted off. So I pray that you open your hearts, allow God to minister to you. If you're in Christ, please remain in Christ. If you're not yet in Christ, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are grateful for honoring us with your presence. We continue to pray that your presence will continue to do mighty and exceedingly things in our midst. We pray, Lord, that may you use your servant, O oh God, as you bring forth the word. That, Lord, your word that you said will never turn to you void may touch the heart of every person under your voice this afternoon. We are all sitting here, Lord, in different seasons in our life. And so I pray, minister to each and every one of us according to the times and seasons that we are in. Minister especially to the family. Let this one bring comfort, bring hope, bring encouragement. And use your servant, Pastor Vincent, for the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Karibu sana, Pastor. Let's appreciate our Pastor Brenda for how she's been able to lead us through the different sessions well. Praise the Lord. And we want to appreciate each one of you for giving of your time. As for those who are with us in the morning, at the mock, um, Reverend Kiyama said something quite very enriching that, you know, each one of us who had gone there that morning and even here at this particular home, we have done the right thing because this is the moment, this is the place where God would want us to be, where one of us needs us most in the place where they are.
uh, this particular time of bereavement. And so as a church sit um, Buruburu under the leadership of Reverend Jesse Mwai and entire advisory leadership of the church, we appreciate each one of you in every capacity you are sitting here in terms of how close you have been to our mom and to the family that is still living on. Amen. Um, I'm Vincent Paul Kabali, as it has been mentioned, and I'm in charge of care ministry at Sitam Buruburu. And I thank God for being here today just to encourage the family, but also to encourage every one of us who has come to stand with this family. Many are the tributes that have been shared, and I can say it is very rare to go to a burial like this and sit for hours hearing tributes, but you feel like you want them to continue speaking. You want them to continue to narrate more and more about this life that the person who we have come to lay to rest has lived. I have been at the home and one of the things that stood out for me is the fact that Mom Rose has been a present mother at home and has also been a present citizen. In this nation because she's touched lives that you will never imagine even in the place of the seasons of her sickness ailing she has continued to touch lives in my church in our church I also get to interact with the gem let me just ask the gem those who are golden edges those who are above 50 in our church we call them golden edges I'll, I'll just ask a few who are here just to arise on your feet just to be to be seen amid is the rest that are here from sitam buruburu that ministry that are for those above 50 they were sharing their tributes the other day and they were saying they had to remove her from their group because every time an issue was brought forth on that group she would want to contribute to meet the need of that person in that group. Kindly sit. And so that is who Rose has been as we come to mourn her, but even more to celebrate her life. This afternoon, I want to share from God's word as it has been read. And I want to ask you to tell the person next to you that do you feel welcome in this home of the Kiamas? Please just ask them. You never know. Be sure that they feel welcome. You know, we were welcomed when we just were about to begin um, this service here. But I want you to ask that person. I want to believe that everyone you asked has said they feel welcome. Now, I want you to preach to them and let them know that the Lord is your host. The Lord is your host. As we sit in this home of the Kiamas, and even for those who have been able to go to their home, you felt welcome in this family where there is mourning. As we have come into their home here at Kagyo, we feel welcome in this home. But you ask that person, do you think this is the same experience if God came today? Would you feel welcome for God? Amen. You know, I was sitting there and I was just thinking about this statement. I just asked you, I feel so at home in this place. In fact, I want people to continue saying, sharing their tributes about our mom. But I was reflecting and, and, and thinking, imagine we turn this setting and say, Jesus Christ has come back and is saying out that scripture differently. The version we read says, the Lord, the Lord God is with us. Other versions say, the Lord of hosts is with us. And it goes on then to say, the God of Jacob 
is our refuge. And that is why I get the titling of this message to you and to I, and I will not keep you for long because already you have sat for long. We know that if we were sitting here to hear stories about our mother, many of you will sit because you've already sat for hours and you'll not feel tired. But I'm very sure if I was to preach this sermon for one hour, I will not be surprised if I see some people beginning to start their machines because they will feel like it's a lot of time being taken. And so I will keep you for very few minutes. And what I, do I want to tell you is that no matter how many years you and I will live on this side of earth, we will come to an end of our lives here on this earth. Whether our lives have been full of suffering or full of only experiences of party, experiences of celebrations, life will come to an end as we have attended many funerals and today we are here because our mom, Rose Kiyama, has rested. I have not met her many times. I met her only once a few, a couple of months ago, I think sometime in December we went to see her at Empisha with Pastor Brenda. And I can never forget the experience I had with Mam Rose. It was my very first time. But it is like I had met her more times than that very first moment I met her. She was full of life in that hospital bed. She had faith and she was speaking different aspects of things that she would want to do when she leaves the hospital. In fact, when you go to encourage her, the atmosphere you receive, it is as though she is the one encouraging you and speaking to you. And one thing that she let us know that, you know, she is not scared of death because she knows even if she died where she is going to end up. That is Mam Rose. She told us when I leave hospital, which is very soon because I am just on a few days of monitoring and I'm going home as I prepare to go back to India. And she said, when I go home, I want to tidy up that Sunday school room that I had been wanting to resuscitate and minister to the children of this court. And that has come out through the days we have been around the home encouraging them. Different people have mentioned that. And it touched us that imagine she is in bed, but she still has a purpose. She is focusing on to fulfill in her days of life to continue to give glory and praise to God. Our mom Rose understood that God is her host on this side of life, but also when she thinks about the next life, God is still our host. Let me speak to someone here and say that, you know, as you live on this side of life, God is our host. Our host. The earth we the are earth living we in are belongs, living to God. In belongs to God. The fullness. The fullness of this earth belongs to God. When you think about the fullness of this earth, Think about Genesis 1 and 2, when the world was formless and God began to give it form. He gave it form and when the world... Because one, the earth belongs to God. When it had no form, God gave it form. And that is what we see, that the fullness of it is no longer empty. Because when it was being, when he was giving it form, it was empty. But when he gave it form, it became a full earth or creation. And then it goes on to say, and we who dwell in this earth, you live in this earth because... God had ensured that what sustains life is in place in this earth and created me and created our mom here who has rested in his very own image and he said take care 
of this earth that I create is our host. It is a true statement. And as you sit here this precious afternoon, I want to remind you that not only in this life, but in the next life, while we have eternity, God is our host. And in moments like this, scriptures remind us, as we read them in 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4 from 13 onwards, in Paul addressing the subject of death, in a Christian community that was being faced with death, but they did not know how to approach that season. I believe there were more people because that is what the culture had passed on to them. But Paul comes in and begins to speak to them and say, please mourn. Mourn because mourning in time of death is common to all. But as you mourn, mourn as a people who have hope not as a people who have no hope. And he begins to make a bridge of life on this side to us who are alive and those who have slept. And his premise that the God in life, and yet he has received our sister on the other side of life, and she is in a place of glory, where as we speak about death and life in around 50 onwards and he begins to make reflective statements and questions about death and says you know where is the sting of death and he goes on to say though he is making a reference to sin that in our sin we are dead but in righteousness we are alive he emphasizes alive and we will be alive and so as the children were giving their tributes here I was just reflecting on that text as Paul makes a discourse on death and life after this life. And I can tell you that while mom is, if she is able to let us hear her voice, she is saying to death, death, where is your victory? She is saying to pain, I went through a lot of pain, but pain, where is your victory? Because God is our host in this side of life and in the life to come. And it is one of the encouragement we have that in this life, we might live, we are pilgrim on this earth. Amen? Tell your pastor next to you that you are pilgrim on this side of life. The Bible paints a picture of a sojourner in our father of faith, Abraham. Abraham is told of God, leave your place, your people, to a place I will show you. And as Abraham begins to move, the Bible establishes that wherever Abraham, Abraham went, he lived in a tent. And he lived in that tent regarding himself as sojourner. And in Hebrews 11, it paints a bigger picture in fullness of why Abraham and the forefathers, the patriarchs of faith, lived like that. And it, it says that they were looking for a city whose foundation and builder is God. A heavenly place and a heavenly dwelling. Whereas we are here, we are saying our mom is in that city of God. A heavenly dwelling a heavenly home where there is no more suffering where there is no more pain where there is no more death though on this side we continue to face the calamity and the disaster of of death we know that it is a way to our eternity our eternity with our maker our eternity with our god amen and so as we mourn we are not mourning as a hopeless people. We are mourning as a people who understand that the God our mom served and the God she introduced the children to and the God in whom we gather to celebrate her life but also to come alongside the family and say the household of faith that mom touched we are here to let you know god will walk with you this journey god will answer our prayers and enable you to become all that is there to become 
in him for his glory and for his honor. I had Dan Danko um, in his tribute talk about his siblings and the different roles they sit in in their home. Even in that place, God is helping you and helping all of us to come alongside you to ensure that God helps you to become all you want to become for his glory and for his honor. And so as you sit here, please be reminded, as I am reminded too, that no matter the dreams you have achieved, that make you live in that place with fulfillment, we are temporal on this earth. No matter the house you have built, no matter the house, the, 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 the car you are driving today, that when you sit in it, you wish that your workplace was not 20 minutes away from your house because you want to enjoy your machine. You know? And say, you know, I worked and I believed God for this machine and I want to enjoy it. I wish my workplace can be far away so I can reach there and say I have enjoyed. What I mean is that time is too short when you think about eternity on the other side. And so as you enjoy all that God has given you, please remember that eternity is a longer place. And that is where we are headed to. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in his farewell discourse, he has just washed the disciples' feet and showed them what it means to serve in the kingdom of God. In chapter 14, he begins transition and brings them into a space of letting know, them know that he's about to leave this earth. And he says, you know, I am going to our father, and in my father's house, there are many rooms. God is our host on this earth. God, the house you sleep in, the breath you have as you sit here, belongs to God. When he makes a call on it, he will be on the other side waiting for you. The choice you have made here will determine how you face God as a host to you on the other side. On this side of life, we have the luxury to make choices and make them the way you want. But on the other side of life, we do not have that luxury. Because on the other side, the decisions we've made this side, make God a judge in his own capacity based on what we have already tabled before him. And the judgment is upon us already on this side before we go to him on the other side of life. And so he was telling them that in heaven, there are rooms, and there are rooms for every one of us. As I come out to bury people every other time, death brings the reality that we are pilgrims, that our lives are so short. In a blink of an eye, your life is gone. But it is appointed for man to live once, die, and after that, judgment. I praise God with this family that, mom, we have testimony of her knowledge of God and of her work with God. I, I implore you, as I implore myself, that please, there is a mansion in heaven that is waiting for you and waiting for me. And God is not in a hurry to call you home. But that mansion is there. And in the fullness of time, we will join our mother to some, a sister to some, a friend to some, grandma as to the children, the grandchildren. We will get to that side and we will join our father. And all of us as his children we will be with him forevermore. As we encourage one another, let's keep to the reality that God wants you to know that you would not only want to host you on this side where you are in charge, but on the other side where he is totally in charge and your decisions of how you have lived your life on this side 
will make his work easier, whether to embrace you in his kingdom in heaven or to release you to the other side where you will be, not in a place of glory, but a place of damnation. And so I invite you, as I invite myself, that do we want to see our mom again? The responsibility she leaves you and I with is that we keep the faith. I'll say these four things and then read the scripture and close. As you live a full life daily, remember God is your host, whether you know him or you, you don't. God is your host in this life and in the next life. But two, you exist on this earth temporarily. There is a permanent destination God will usher you to. Amen? But number three, the choices you make with your life in this life are the only guarantee of your destination. As one who is a sojourner, if you live for God, to God you will return to spend eternity with. And if not, you are doomed and destined for eternal death. Number four, no one will pray the loved one who has rested into heaven. No amount of prayers will make our loved ones enter heaven. Because when she has rested, she has rested in the fullness of her choices or his choices done on this side. And so we pray ourselves into heaven while living. And when we die, God receives us. Our mom has every day prayed herself into heaven because she has lived with God and she has ensured that the children know that and live for God. And so pray for yourself into heaven by giving your life to God through faith in Jesus Christ and living for God on a daily basis. And lastly, Revelation 14.13 tells us that blessed are those who rest in the Lord. For their labors will rest with them, but also their works follows them to God. Amen. When you sleep, when I sleep, our labors will sleep with us. But even more, our works will follow us. That is the only point of contact for how your works will matter before God. When you have slept in the Lord as our mother slept in the Lord. And so we celebrate her life. And also we come alongside the children to let you know that as a church we are with you. But even more, know that God is by you. Because him who gave you mom for these years that you have had her is the same God with you today. And tomorrow, after laying her to rest today, as you begin to move on with your life and to each one of us who knew her and whose lives she impacted in one way or another. My God bless you and help you every day and help me every day to reflect that God, as you host me on this side of life, I want to be your hostee in the next life. Amen. I'll ask the family, if you don't mind, just to come and ask all the clergy that are here just to come and we pray for this family. And then from that, we will be able to go at home and lay the body of our mother to rest. So I'll ask the family and all the clergy to just come so we can pray for Duncan and for all your siblings and the grandchildren of mom. Amen. Blessed assurance 
Jesus is mine. For a full test of glory divine, hair of salvation, patches of gold, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. I'll just ask two pastors to just help us to pray for the family. And I'll ask our mom, um, chaplain Margaret, to end that prayer for us. And so I'll ask uh, our pastor from this land, this Kagyo, where we are, to just make a prayer. Because in this place where we are, you have ministered in this place. And so we will ask you to pray. Let's have the microphones. Just come to them to lead us in prayer. And also I will give our pastor from uh, the church where the sister goes to, to worship, also to make a prayer. And then I will ask our, our Reverend Margaret to finish that prayer for us. I will ask the rest of the clergy just around the family as we, we get to, to pray for them. Do we still have microphones? Tomina tuombe. Baba wetu na mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu. Tuaribariki jina lako na tuarinua mfalmo wa falme. Kwa sababu ya mnanaji wa neno, ametubariki mfalme toa boka mnene na ukazidi kumbariki zaidi Jehova. Asante kwa sababu wakati umefika kwa ajili ya familia ya los, Jehova ni kiwaweka mikononi mwako. Nina waombea neema ikazidi kwa juu yao. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, los amekuwa wa baraka kwa wengi. Na simfalme tunaomba ya kwamba, ewe Jehova utakuwa wa baraka, Katika hii familia mfalme, naomba ya kwamba ni nakiri, ya kwamba ewe die mchungaji, ya kwamba hawata pungukiwa. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, utawanyuesha maji, katika jina la Yesu Kristo, bariki maisha yao, bariki yao watoto mfalme. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, mfalme waonekanie, uwe mungu wao, kuanzia sasa na kuendelea. Bwana uwasaidie. Bwana usimame na wao. Kwa sababu we ni mungu. Ninaoba kwa ajili ya familia ya Duncan. Na iweka mikono ni mwako. Naoba kwa ajili ya familia ya Anthony. Na, fi, na pia familia ya Joyce. Bwana wape neema. Na usimame na wao. Katika jina la Yesu. Watakubarika kila mahali waedapo. Kwa sababu we ni mungu. Nina waopia neema. Kwa sababu unastairi, kwa jina la Yesu Kristo, ariye mwokozi na wabada kuamini. Tumushukuru mwenyezi mungu kwa maisha ambaya likuwa mepea, blows tuichi pamoja nae. Na sasa kwa zababu, hame muita, Tumuo mbeweleke roho yake pahari pema peponi. Tumboe familia pia ambao wameashwa na mama yao na nyanya yao. Hili waesu kukubari ukupendo wake mwenyesi mungu. Mwenyesi mungu wa edele kuwarinda na kuwa pea ngufu. Hili wakati wote wanaishi waone anaongosa na wanarida. Ebon tuwabe. Tunakushukuru mungu 
tusema ni asanti kwa neno lako bwana ambalo limesimama siku ya leo ni asanti kwa kutumia mtumishi wako kwa anchili ya kutujulita bwana alikuwa anajuana na wewe Mungu wa Israeli ni kupumzika tu amepumzika kwa sababu bwana ametutangulia nasi tutamuona huko paradiso Bwana jioni hii ya leo tunataka kukabidhi hii familia mbele zako kwa sababu bwana kuna watoto wameachwa na, na, na mama yao na Mungu wa Israeli wewe ndiye Mungu wa hatima Bwana wa majeshi unaoangalia tuomba bwana ukaangalia hawa watoto Mungu wa majeshi tunakuomba ya kwamba bwana you will be the provider ya wat, katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu tunajua kuna magonjwa ambayo ni generation na inakuja kwa kizazi baada ya kizazi tunatangaza jioni ya leo ya kwamba hao wazazi wameenda na hao watoto wamembaki Hakuna magonjwa ambayo ni ya kimisiri. Yehova itakuta watoto wale wamebaki. Tumeweka ukuta wako Yehova na kutangaza hawa wataishi kama neno lako vile linasema Yehova ya kwamba tutaishi mpaka tutoseleke mpaka wakati wetu Bwana wa kulala. Leo jioni hii Mungu wangu madhabahu yote ambayo ni ya magonjwa ambayo uh, iko juu ya hii familia kama watumishi wako na kukanusha na kusambaratisha madhabahu yote ya magonjwa ambayo sio ya nia yako Yehova leo jioni hii ya leo tunasimama na kutangaza ya kwamba watoto wa hii familia wataishi kwa sababu na wapenda tunawalinda na moto wa madhabahu tunatangaza Yehova hawa watakaa wakiwa wamelindwa na wewe mwoko. Kozi. Pokea sifa, pokea utukufu kwa maana hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Hawa watoto hawatapungukiwa. Yehova kuna kiwango unawapeleka. Yehova wewe ni Mungu wa viwango. Tunatangaza kama manabii wako ya kwamba hao watoto wataenda mbali katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hawatazuiliwa. Hawatazuiliwa na magonjwa. Hawatazuiliwa na chochote amba bacho bwana ni kinyume na neno lako mwokozi tunawambaliki tunatangaza wataishi na ni kwa Yesu mwokozi tumeomba na kushukuru amen amen father god in heaven we know that you are everlasting and i want to thank you this afternoon as we call upon your name in connection to your word that was spoken to us this day. My Father and my God, we know that you are the Father of the fatherless. Jehovah, we want to uplift these children to you. We want to uplift Danko together with his family. Anthony with his family. Joyce with his family. My Father and my God, you knew a time like this, where we have this, we have had this bark of a tree being cut. My father, two trees are removed in the life of these children. Jehovah, you know the experience without a shade. There is sun, there is dryness, there is all that can be called. Because my father, there is a lack. There is that emptiness. But Father, as we gather here as your servants, yes. we call upon heaven yes. that has got an answer to protect, to guide, to surround these children. Yes. That my Father, when the sun is hot, one of them said about three stones, hallelujah. The three stones that would make a food. My Father and my God, may you unite them closely with one another. That my Father, when these children sit and call upon your name, 
you always have an answer. Because my father, we know not every day that even us, as we say we will start with them, that you'll be pleasant. But we thank you, our father, that you'll be pleasant with them, that you surround them, you accompany them in their going out. When they seek counsel, you will be there, my father. We thank you for the Jeremiah 33, verse 3. That's his call unto me, and I'll answer you. And I'll show you mighty and great things. May this God that was the, mother, the God of my sister laws, Jehovah, be the God of these children. That who lived with faith, that they will live with this faith because that is how they have experienced. That God, they will never face a lack. That God, you always allowed them. You will protect them in their going out. In their coming out, my father, Jehovah, you watch over them. When they lift their eyes unto you, Father, you, they will see you. Your heart that is not shortened, my father. May it hold these children. May it protect these children. May your light shine upon their life. That my father, when they felt that emptiness, that your presence we will be accompanying them. We thank you, Lord Jesus, as we call your Holy Spirit to guide them, to watch over them. Master, uplift them. May they prosper spiritually, materially, my Father, as they were left behind. Jehovah, we bless you for their life. We bless you because you have a new beginning for them. A new beginning that they have never seen again. A new beginning that they have never entered again. My father, when the father went, they were left with the mom. And they thought the mom will be always ever be there. Now you have taken the mom. Be there for them, my father. Hold them. God of heaven. May you protect their path. That they will never lack. May you guide them when they need you, Jehovah, to go ahead of them. May you answer them when they call, oh God. Father, we bless you. As we dedicate this home to you and to these children. Father Jehovah, we bless you because you are appalling to these children. We give you praise, preparation to them, that they are not alone. You are with them. We bless you, Jehovah. We give you praise. We give you honor for what you can do and for what you continue to do, even to these dear grandchildren, my father, that Jehovah, they will grow in the love of your name. Yes. Jehovah God, thank you for them that are left behind. That they will show the image of a grandparent to them. Father, we bless you. We honor you. And it is in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Amen. You may, you may have your seats. Let's appreciate our pastor, Vincent, for bringing us the word of God. Amen. May the Lord refresh you, Pasi, as you have refreshed us. Buenas, if you Just wave at me if you are blessed with that word. Amen. Tunendelea vizuri. And uh, at this point, tunatuka kutoa offering. And uh, before we do that, I want to emphasize that... Uh, uh, yale matoleo ambayo yanatolewa hapa ayaendi kwa kanisa sisi kama Christ is the answer ministries matoleo yanapotolewa mahali kama hapa yanaenda kwa familia tunajua kwamba mama yetu 
alikuwa mgonjwa tunajua kulikuwa na bill tunajua watoto wameshughulika sana ili tupumzishe mama siku ya leo so unapotoa jua unazidi kusimama na familia so matoleo yote yanaenda kwa familia so tutoe na tusimame na familia amen tuamini na tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunasema ni asante kwa neno lako ambayo umetukujia Baba tunanena kwamba hiyo neno lako lipate kufanya kazi katika maisha yetu. Tunasema asante kwa kila mmoja wetu ambaye amezidi kukaa na familia hii. Hata tunapozidi kusimama nao kupitia kwa matoleo ya watu wako uh, mchana huu wa leo. Baba tunaomba ubariki kazi ya mikono yao wala ambao wako kwa mabiashara, wala ambao wameandikwa makazini, baba tunaomba wabariki kwamba hata nao wasikose chochote pamoja na familia yao. Tu tunaomba hayo matoleo yapate kubarikiwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tumomba na kuamini. Amen. So our ashes the in black and purple tafadhali mtatusaidia kwa hayo. When peace like a river attend my way when so rose like sea billows roll It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet. Though trials should It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. My sin. This song actually is in our program. So let's sing together. Uh, my sin, all the bliss of this glorious thought. My sin, not to the cross, and I bear it more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, oh, it is well with my soul. For those who love to give our m number, the m number to give is 0721 I'll repeat again. The EPSA line to give is 0721 28 43 33. 0721 28 43 33. And the name will come Anthony. 
0721 salama rohoni rohoni ni salama roho ni mwangu if the lord has given you the breath to sing this song. So let's all sing together that Swahili chorus again. Salama Rohoni Ni Salama Rohoni Tell your neighbor it is well in the Lord. Tell them whatever season you are going through, it is well. So we normally say it is well, not because the circumstances or the seasons are well, but we say it is well because God is in control. God is in the throne and God will never leave us nor forsake us. So we don't sing it is well because things are well. It is well because God is God and we can look up to him and rely on him at every given point of our lives. So at this point we are coming to the end of this service and uh, just few notices as we come to the end. Kindly take note that because of the spacing that we are having at the family, so we request the immediate family and some few friends. I know we are all friends of the family. That be, that's why we are here and that's why we are seated here. And so as we proceed with the clergy and the family and the immediate friends, and we we'll request that some of us will remain here. Lunch are going to be served here. And then uh, we are just going to finish everything up here. And then as we go to lay our mom, then there'll be other people who will remain here just to partake of the lunch that has been served by the family members. So I want to call the one who is going to give us the vote of thanks for the family, and that is Dominic Ndegwa. Kindly just come and give us the vote of thanks. And then at the end, we are going to pray, and then we are going to have a recession. I'm Jabba Wate. Uh, my name is Degwa Dominic. I think I have one of the most difficult tasks of addressing people when the energy levels are a bit low. But uh, I think I'll try my best. First, thanks everyone. I think it's happening to start in front of you. I can see some friends, I can amend you, I can answer some other people. Quite some distinguished friends, the church and the family is honoring to be here. Uh, maybe even before I give my vote of thanks, it's good to remember a few things. Today there was an element of disclosure. And uh, when I think of this great lady here, I just wanted to make one disclosure. I got to know her back in the, I mean in 1980. Uh, Gichuki was, I mean, Kiyama was close to me. And so when he went to visit the elder sister, who was also my classmate, at a Nairobi hospital, I mean a Kenyatta National Hospital, and he met this young lady who stole his heart. Of course, he told us, and uh, we were, of course, to give our views. But then there, were, there was a challenger, and uh, maybe only John Gatudu would know that. And uh, Rose was a fighter, because he actually fought that challenger, and she took over. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is, though we've said the lady was very uh, overly generous, she was a no-nonsense lady. I recall one time me and uh, Kiyama, we overdid a few things. <laughs> and then early morning, Kiyama reports home, I also go to my place. And so when he's asked where he was, of course we were with uh, Degua and uh, we were napped by cops. And uh, we were locked at Buruburu police station. But 
Lose is different. Immediately she walked to Buruburu Police Station and there was nothing on the OB. The issue was so serious, but anyway, I had to reset it with uh, a few drinks which you used to have during those days. Uh, green bottles with a picture of a bird. I'm sure Major knows. Anyway, we had our own issues, but we celebrate the life of a very, very strong lady. Uh, I want to give uh, my vote of thanks, as I've been asked, and I want to consider phases of Lucy's life. First is her birth and growing up, and that I will give first thanks to God for her creation and salvation, to her parents for whatever they did, did it, uh, to the siblings, Akinagadodu and the sisters, I'm sure they must have which was then of course Kiyama himself, he must have also murdered her and the children. So to all of you, thanks. Then of course when she started dating, uh, there were the friends and the church. I have some special recognitions to the Kenya team of oncologists led by Gradwell Kerry and her team of Dr. Gideji, Dr. Wabaire, Philip, and the entire MPSHA team. And, of course, and also Dr. Andrew Odiambu and the entire Nairobi Hospital team. From India, we say special thanks to Dr. Sulman, Dr. Lamana, and the entire Fortis Hospital. The Gupta, who was the agent and translator, uh, Hadej, who was her driver, and uh, the manager at uh, Prantinam Hotel, where she spent. Uh, the last moments, we want again to recognize the doctors at Nairobi Hospital, her immediate family, who narrated to us how they uh, went through this. And then from there, when she passed on, she was moved to Montezuma, where we got her from today. So we give thanks to all those institutions for the services they rendered. For today's celebrations, of course, we start with God. The weather has been great, uh, apart from it's a bit sunny, and we are praying for rain. Uh, we, of course, again recognize the family, the friends and the relatives, the church for the word of preaching and service, uh, the planning teams. We had teams planning in Nairobi, Mokorweini, and even here where we had the Kinakanieru doing what they did for this occasion. Then, of course, all the service providers. We have caterers for the food. We have the people providing transport, people providing security, people providing sound. We have many, many people who have done duty for this word of service. Of course, we can't forget the people who are preparing the final resting place for her. To you all, we say thanks. And of course, you all, for your participation, your generous contributions. I think like John said, we were overwhelmed by what you gave us. We don't have any outstanding bills, and we say thanks for everything. Of course, finally, for your time, and participation here. We can only say, may God greatly bless you. I know between me and uh, the barrier, there will of course be the food, and I want to cruise there, but I want to remind the person who is praying for food. We have Catholics in our midst, and today is Friday. Then Friday, they don't eat meat. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we are coming to the end uh, of our service. So, tafadali tunaum kwamba, as we take the recession to the home, we'll allow the clergy, the family, and the worship team to proceed to the home. And all of us who are remaining here, Tafadali, please feel free to partake of the lunch that has been served. Now, Jinsi, my, uh, my able brother and uh, my senior has said, so kwa wale ambao siku hii ya leo, awa partake nyama Tafadali, najua awata kosa kitu ya kukula. Kwa sababu pale kuna vitu tofauti tofauti. So I'm going to call. Uh, I'll call my mom here. Mom, tafadhali, karibu. 
So I'll call our mom to pray for food, then we'll do a final prayer. So as the clergy, the family members and the worship team proceed to the homes, kindly feel free to be served uh, something. Just have a bite of something before you leave. Let's pray for food. God our Father, we thank you very much for this day, Father, for helping us to be here to escort our sister Rose. Father, we are now invited to eat. Go, the, the, the family has prepared something for us. And for this, Father, we thank you. And we ask to bless the food as we eat it and help us, Father, on our journey back to Nairobi. I ask you this, trusting and believing in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Let's all be upstanding. Naomba tafadhali sisi sote tupate kusimama. I'll call Pastor Walter from KG Buruburu to come and do for us a final prayer. So once the final prayer has been done, the clergy kindly please take your position together with the family and then those who are also helping us with the uh, with the casket, please kindly just be on standby. I'm Pastor James Masharia. Pastor Walter is my colleague. Dekai tuhoe, tuombe. Bwana wa majeshi, umekuwa nasi. Tangu asubuhi, tangu siku hii weze kupangwa. Na sasa tumefika mwisho wa mipangilio kwa ajili ya dada yetu. Tunakushukuru. Maana ni wewe ulitupatia dada wetu na wewe umeona ni vizuri sasa mpumzishe pokea all the glory all the honor as now we start thinking of traveling home to heruge dorwega to hererie mitino ya farafara na ngai wa mwe urathimia doaya bariki kila moja tunaombea baraka kila familia na zaidi ya yote tukupendeze tukupendeze maisha yetu ikupendeze kama dada wetu alivyo kupendeza. Sasa bariki mipango ingine pale kwenye kaburi. And may all the glory and honor come unto thee. In Jesus' name we pray. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell them surely goodness and and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen amen thank you all so much so clergies please the clergy those who are helping also with the casket please wale watatusaidia kubeba mwili ya mam tafadhali wakuje ni sawa wale ambao wako na miaka mingi sana tunaweza anza pale kukula mkitugojea msituache kabla hatujamaliza
As much as it has placed our heaven in his wise providence to take unto himself the soul of Mamrol, we therefore commit dust to dust as to ashes, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who shall fashion the body anew in the likeness of his own weave. He is able even to subdue all things immediate
then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet with the Lord in the air. And so shall we be even uh, be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. So we want to bless the cross. I'll ask the clergy just to come by. And once we do that, we will do our sign of prayer and then to put the flowers. See if we can look at it. So we just want to make our sign of prayer and then we will let the rest of the prayer as well. Let us pray together. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you and honor you for everyone who has come to mourn with this family of the Kiamas. We want to give you praise and glory because you are God with them. As they have laid their mother, the body of their mother to rest, we continue to commit them to you. That in your presence, King of glory, they will continue to find comfort and they will continue to find peace, unity, O oh God, and the love that they need, to which, Lord, you have received in glory, King of kings, that you will take your place in their lives, how I pray that as we all get to go back to where we came from, may your journey masses be upon us, O oh God, that we'll be able to reach our different destinations. Lord, well, and when we do so, shall we be able to remember and give thanks to you. And so we thank you and we honor you because we pray with <coughs> thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And so we will... Uh, put our flowers and then we will let the family and you will be free to live as you will feel like doing. So Marua ya kwanza ni ya kanisa ya msalaba. Mapasi, wapanya hivo. Watoto wa Rose, wajuku wake, sisters and brothers, Watakuja sasa wachukua hii kubwa this main one Ilikuwa ya white lakini imekuwa brown lakini itarudi white Sawa So mimi Mimi ndio kama watoto ni maua naona ni Come this way, come this way. Come this way. Ayah misal, ekelah. 
Asia Genea, nephews and nieces, arrows. Are you married to arrows, auntie? Wakuti wa chukua i, kubwa. Are you married to arrows, auntie? Water, water, water. Baraka yo.